Are you all right? Yeah, don't worry about it. Doesn't look like there's any. Peter Griffin, certified CPR. Don't anyone panic. Ah! ah! No! What are you doing? I said, Sir, ah! I'm gonna need you to stop. No! Hello, all right? My no! Go. You guys sent me a Family Guy Turn Out the Lab challenge in the DMs of the Discord, to which case you assured me it's the most jacked up one that you guys have sent me yet. I'll be the judge of that, but three laughs or you out of here. Broken up with, and I keep all the dogs. Not like with peanut butter and stuff. You know. Because today is Christmas Eve. <laughs> Christmas! Fine. Everybody have a nice holiday. Teach. It's like in high school. Signed all of us up they to volunteer tomorrow at a homeless shelter. That's your present. Last year yeah. you wrote us a freaking poem, and now this? Now let's finish decorating before your father gets home. I gotta go help the less fortunate. He's coming fast. He can't wait to see us. Get out of the road, you idiot. He's headed right to the bar. Twas the night before Christmas. Wait, wait, twas? What's twas? Is that short for it was? What's that? We're out of time. Oh. I'm fired. Well, I suppose I better get out of here before that over-enthusiastic group of carolers makes their way in here. Uh -oh. Have you heard the story that they're telling about that it was his virgin mother, Peter Meyer? Oh! We got Quagmire! Sing oh! hallelujah! Sing hallelujah! I looked into it, and now I'm blind. Honey, the house looks great. Who's there? Well, before you sit down, ah! I just need you to do a couple things. Okay, ah! first, I need you to Who's take down last year's Christmas lights and put up ah! this year's Christmas ah! lights. Then shovel and salt the walk. Then shovel and salt the driveway. Then shovel and salt Mrs. Whitaker's driveway. She's 96 and has no one to help her. <laughs> then it's just laundry, take up the trash, and move the house a little bit to the left. Oh. Uh, can I do some of that tomorrow? Bums? What kind of presents would they possibly have for us? Bags full of bags full of bags? You know what, Peter? I've had it. Every year, my parents invite us to their house, and every year we don't go because you don't want this year. I am going, and the kids are coming with me. Aw, oh, now I want to be on that side. Now to take a slidey toilet seat soaking wet dump. Christmas in Wonderland. Aha! Ah, I love you, Patrick Swayze. I don't. Peter Griffin. Santa? Is that you a think vagina? Santa could fit into a pair of 22 inch waist jeans? Ghost of Patrick Swayze. Zesty, I can't believe it. Bro. I just want to run through your hair like a dog uh, bouncing in tall grass. Hey, where are we? Zesty, Peter, you've lost your Christmas spirit. So I'm taking you on a journey to Christmas Pass to find it. Christmas spirit? Hey, hey, that's me. Look how skinny I am. Yay, it's Christmas. See, look how happy I was. That's the Christmas spirit. I haven't felt that in years. And I just want you to see that not everyone in Quahog has lost the Christmas spirit. Christmas! What's this? Cold! Why? Bad! Oh! That was a delicious meal, Daddy. You all laughed when I suggested Boston Market. Where is this? Nana, here is Kata. Fröhliche Weihnachten. Fröhliche Weihnachten. Seems like they're having a good time without you. Oh, they're just oh. pretending to have fun. I'm sure they miss me. We should probably call Dirt. You mean Dad? Wow. <laughs> Merry Christmas, huh? <laughs> oh, Merry Christmas, huh? Yeah, she's gonna bow <laughs> that. Yeah, duh. She's doing that flirty laugh she does. Now let's see that penis. Yeah, what, yeah, you thought your wife was faithful the just because you, just when you were in the room, oh, This stupid. isn't a Merry Christmas at all. What? Oh, what? hell no. What's happening? I'm the ghost of Christmas yet to come. I'm shaping your future. That's I can't believe our buddy's dead. I We're know. To shape my and future. it's so sad. He I left his family you. with nothing. I, I swear Who's this I poor cut Benjamin you. that just died? Nobody ever said Benjamin. Poor I'll cut dead you. Benjamin. I'll All right, I'll... I'm not getting it. Merry Christmas. Who's that guy? That's Lois's new husband, That's Lance. A side dude. I, I mean, finally husband. had the guts to leave her. Hey, what's Brian doing out here in the graveyard? He usually sleeps at the foot of my bed. He still does. Oh. Why didn't someone in my family save me? They went to Newport because you wanted to be by yourself, remember? Looks like you got what you wanted. You spend all of eternity as a dog fart. Where'd he go? Don't worry, Brian's a 13-year-old dog. Please, Peter, don't lose your Christmas spirit. He ate Lois's trash. There's tampons in there. <laughs> Please, Peter. Keep your Christmas spirit. Please, Peter. This is no life. Where am I? What day is it? 
All the porn girls I follow on Instagram have Santa hats on. It must be Christmas. Every time Grandpa bends over to get a present, his robe opens up. Good. Looks like two eggs and an old handkerchief. All loaded up with Christmas spirit and a sack full of hastily bought gifts from the CVS. For Stewie, a $2 styrofoam cooler. Awesome! I can probably fit 16... Oh, uh, the top blew away. A lawn chair that was 80% off because it's winter. Oh, Peter, I can't wait to drink outside in this. Are you sure this is for me? Of course, Meg, sweetie. It's Christmas. Everything is for you. I wish there was some way I could repay you. Who are you talking to? Well, actually, there's one thing in heaven that Chris Farley won't do with me. What's he doing? I don't know, Chris. Let's just keep opening presents. He'll tire himself out. <laughs> oh, hell Peter, no! Thanks a lot for having us out on your boat. No problem. Peter, are you sure Santos and Pasquale don't mind coming in on a Saturday to serve us drinks? Hey, Meg, what's going on? What's going on? You having a good time? Yeah. No, I'm having a good time. Uh, you know, if you ever want to, I don't know, screw around or something. Uh, hey, Joe! Oh, sorry about that, Loretta. Hey, uh, can I have my fish back? Oh, you gonna have to reach into the cookie jar. Hey, Quagmire. Well, we'll uh, <laughs> have to do this again sometime. You name the time and the place, little Nick. Oh, 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 oh! Somebody save him! He can't swim! Oh, he's not even kicking. Kick, Joe! Kick! Oh, gay! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's gay! <laughs> Let him, just Peter, let him none of die. us knew what to do when Joe was drowning. Now be quiet and pay attention. Hi there. We were doing like what we were supposed to be doing. CPR. We was letting them now, die. Who in, wants to go quietly. first? In no peace. Takers? Well, fine. I'll go first. Hell Peter, why don't you volunteer? Ain't and that's pretty no much all face, there is bro. to it. Yeah, it's hard, jagged, and tastes like alcohol. If one of y'all needs mouth to mouth in front of me, you really probably just gonna die. Like, I'll video record. Hey, world star, this nigga choking. Hey, everybody, look, he's choking. What a dummy world star. Like, I I can do all of that. But putting my lips on another man's lips, that's, that's, that goes against my religion. And I haven't been to church in years, so you know how that is. Just like kissing Faye Dunaway. <laughs> so it's official. Y'all are card-carrying lifesavers. I am now Peter Griffin's certified CPR. I've got lives to save. Are you all right? Yeah, don't worry about it. Doesn't look like there's any. Peter Griffin, certified CPR. Don't anyone panic. Ah! ah! No! What are you doing? I just, Sir, I'm gonna need you to stay no! alone. All right? No! Go. No! Hey, no! Sir, please, please kill us! Sir! Sir! So they what revoked are we your doing? CPR card, huh? Yeah. I tell you, this is worse than when they took away my library card for reading while intoxicated. I gotta figure out some way to get that card back. Well, well you could always take the class again. I mean, I'm sure they'd give you another card. Oh! Peter Griffin, temporarily suspended CPR. We should go. She Boy, that was embarrassing, huh? What was that? Shut up and put some of that sugar in my bowl. Oh, we can't tell anyone about this. That is the last thing in the world we want to do. So I, I guess the only thing on left that. to do is tell you that Loretta Twice. Brown is having an affair. Yeah, <laughs> any idea who it was, Peter? No, we didn't see his face. <sighs> All we know is it's a skinny white guy with a tattoo on his left butt cheek. Uh, your wife's cheating on you. What? Yeah, uh, it, it's Duh. actually a pretty funny story. Uh, true story. Uh, Brian and I walked into your house. So that's what we're dealing with here. Any thoughts? Cleveland's gonna be staying with us for a few days. That's no. right, kids. So just treat him like one of the family. <laughs> can I, can I touch your hair? I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna touch no. it. No. No, <laughs> it's like a sheep. He's probably bottling up his emotions. That's not good for you. Right. What Cleveland really needs right now is to learn how to express his feelings. No. Yeah, what he needs right now is a revenge lay. That's the, oh, yes. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Let me throw something on. <gasps> Peter, look, he's the one we saw sleeping with Loretta. Damn it, I knew this was gonna happen. Look, I didn't mean it, you know? I, I knew it was a mistake. It never felt right. I am so sorry. I can only imagine what you must be feeling right now. It's okay. It's okay? You don't have any passion. Sometimes a woman wants to see her man be a man. You gotta push back a little. You gotta get a little rough. Cleveland, we gotta get your manhood back. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is take you to a good old-fashioned wrestling match. 
Oh, don't ah, he make ah, you so ah, mad ah, you just ah, want to go down there and hit him? No. Well, maybe not him, because he's kind of big, but don't you want to hit the guy sitting next to you? Hey, look at me. I'm Quagmire. I had sex with your wife. Giggity, 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 giggity. <laughs> hey, knock, hey, Peter, sleep. knock it yeah, off. you oh, sweet oh, thing. Get your oh, damn you hands like off, dirty, you dirty, don't you? Easy, girl. Uh, Glenn Quagmire. Uh, uh, all right, all right, calm down, uh, Cleveland. I'm gonna kill Quagmire. Well, Cleveland, relax, 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 relax. There you go. There See, that's go. why I can't okay. stand my... How you gonna okay. rouse Listen, somebody Mayor up? West, you want him to get mad. Then you tell him to calm to down Say after no you more. get him super mad? I'll protect you, sir. Just it's let, all right him, to just go to let sleep, him not express friend. his emotions, I'll stand stupid. guard. Uh, okay? Don't worry. I'll be here all night. Yeah, this is uh, kind of creeping me out. I'm gonna go. Take this for protection. What the hell is this for? When the time comes... You'll know. Peter, we have got to do something about Cleveland. I think you created a monster. Well, there's only one thing to do, Lois. we got to get Loretta and Cleveland back together. Yeah, Cleveland, this is Quagmire. Uh, listen, I feel awful. Why don't you come on over and we can try to get things back to the way they used to be. Anyway, let's talk this thing through. Oh, uh, <laughs> hey, Cleveland, I was just leaving you a message. Oh, shit! Oh! 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 Wait! It wasn't real. I, this wasn't love. It was oh, just this is awful. Somebody sex. stop them. Oh, I can't. It isn't in me to cause harm to anyone. Loretta, Boo. what you did was unforgivable. This marriage is over. I deserve better than you. Glenn, you sure you want to do this? I already told you I forgive you. No, no, I feel like I got off too easy. You're fired, Griffin, for destroying company property. Tell it to my tongue. <laughs> Mr. President, we have a situation. The Decepticons plan to destroy the seven wonders of the world. Motherfucker, Starting with what? the Hagia Sophia. That chest plate is where they're most vulnerable. If we could find someone strong enough to throw a keg with enough force, might have a shot. There may be one. I wonder who it is. Please don't Search let it be is the... underway for a man strong enough to throw a cake with enough force to save the seven wonders of the world. You're wasting your time coming here. I don't throw kegs anymore. He goes deep. Who's this? It's not me that's asking. It's America. Hell, America, my answer is no. I have to go change my mind in the shower. Hold on! Damn it, I'm in. Still trying to put the world back together, I see. Oh, hello, Peter. I was just out back working in the garden. Oh, yeah? Trying to grow some balls? Peter, you used to live here. That was a long time ago. It was two months ago. Two months is a long time when you don't sleep and only eat ground beef. Nothing bad will ever happen to the Hagia Sophia, right? <laughs> Not on my watch. Pete, save that basilica. According to the calculations on my Microsoft Surface, they have advanced cloaking technology. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let's have a fight with so many quick shots and close-ups you can't tell what's going on. Did it shit out of oh did it? Good did it. Peter, don't! It's suicide! Take care of my kids' bikes. I can't believe Peter's gone. Who's that ugly son of a bitch? Wait, they, they welded you back together? A and they knew you were alive the whole time? Is everything all right? Yeah, no, I, I think I'm just tired from all the flying back and forth. Maybe we just talk here for a little bit? You're three hours late. Stop trying to be a clock. You ain't got the face for it. I've had enough of your nonsense. <gasps> it's a cliche. Uh, 
Uh, why did they shoot him? <gasps> Where am I? What happened? Oh, coma breath. Coma? Stab me with his scalpel and then run out. Thanks. Oh, that was unnecessary, but cool. So awesome. Dear idea for company, Fugle. Ah, so close. Oh, right, homie got the Lion King sword. Got the McDonald's everything else. Trisha Takanawa, 88. Worst neighbor ever. You won't believe what he did yesterday. Hey, Grover, catch! Don't you think maybe it's time to call it a night? Yeah, sure. You ever seen a nard explode? A, a what? Is that something on the internet? Because I... Ah, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You're a jerk, Gronk! That's it. I'm getting rid of that bastard. Peter, you gotta figure something out. They haven't stopped partying the whole night. That guy's more annoying than going to an Italian restaurant with someone who's been to Italy. They call this a trattoria? More like a restaurante to me. Hey, look, that bee is trying to get our honey. Ah! Holy crap, that thing just lifted a whole jar of honey. That's one of our steroid bees? Oh, crap. Ryan Rath, turn on the wipers! Oh, hell no. Every kid in school had to write a list of five reasons Principal Shepard is cool. One time I saw him pee in a urinal with his hands on his hips. That's pretty boss. All right, finally, some peace and quiet so I can buckle down and get some writing done. It's all been a pack of lies. That sounded really good. Thanks, babe. <sighs> Hey, what's up? Well, I'm trying to work on a sequel to The Old Man and the Sea. Are you... are you allowed to do that? I used to daydream that by now I'd have my own place by a lake somewhere. An oasis where I could go to write, pay the bills by renting out the rooms. Does anyone know how to push down the back seat of a Highlander? I know I can make a bed in there, I just don't know how. Principal Shepard, what's wrong? Principal oh. Shepard, your wife is on the line. She says, uh, uh. Oh, God. Ah! Ah! I know, it's going to be such a darling B&B. &B. I got the boiler up, up and running, Mr. Griffin. Well, we don't have a boiler, but I can't wait to see what you've done in the cellar. Welcome, members of our school community. Let's call to order this emergency meeting of the school board regarding Principal Shepard's meltdown. Well, I'm done with my gum. I don't want it. But I'm done with it. Peter, shh. I'll take it. Therefore, the board is seeking a parent volunteer to serve as interim principal until a permanent replacement can be found. Hey, Lois, maybe I should do it. Again, any volunteers? I'll be your new principal. Wonderful. Why don't you come on up and introduce yourself? That ain't no lie. Check. I go pop, pop, fizz, fizz. Oh, how sweet it is. Check, check. <coughs> Mother... Mom, why was this Listerine in the garbage? Oh, your father says he doesn't need it anymore now that he's a high school principal. He's not really doing that, is he? Too late. I've already been practicing giving students awkward and uncoordinated high fives. Two fingers inside of the palm contact. Mm -mm. I feel you, Meg. Shut up. You shut up. Oh. Hi, we're checking out. Just charge my card. Stewie, we have a problem. The only people checking in are here to have sex with prostitutes. What? Nonsense! And to show I'm a fun principal, I'm gonna do the ice bucket challenge. Three years too late, but right on time for a principal. Why else would you get a hotel room? Brian? Bitches. Bitches? Brian. What? What's all this? We might as well provide the women, too. What? Stewie, we're not gonna become pimps. Okay, maybe we could try it out and see how it goes. Hey, what are you girls doing standing around? Get to work! Hey, guys. Guys. When Borat was making announcements over to PA this morning, that was me. What? Shut the front door. Ah! Oh. Hey, stupid. What the hell are you doing? That's my daughter. Yeah? What are you going to do about it? Get on your knees and lick that up. What?
Wow, Dad, that was really something. I felt like I kind of lost my cool there. Not at all. That's what you've got to do more of. Oh, really? Oh. All right, listen up, maggots. Fun's over. There's going to be some changes around here. Okay, we'll pick this up on Monday. Do any of you know my wife, Lois? Tell her I'm on the bats and to come get me. She'll know what it means. Hey, Dad, listen. The four of us got together last night, and we came up with a list of 11 students and two teachers that you need to do something about. Don't take any crap from anyone. Oh, I won't. I'm going to take down all these punks. All right, ladies, I'm going to put this as gently as I can, but it appears that someone's rectum fell out on the stairs. Now, whose is it? Our day has just begun, and there's a line out the door. I know. We're raking it in. This is a hell of a lot easier than when I delivered pizza in New Orleans. We're all just blocking the street. I need to be there in 30 minutes. It's a company promise. Half the band is in the band. We're all just blocking the street. Okay, so I think Lee Blanding gets detention. And for Jason O'Neill, maybe you could pants him during an assembly. Yeah. Well, I gotta admit, I was skeptical, but it sounds like things are going pretty well down there. They'll go even better after the purge. The what? You know, what exactly are you doing down at that school? I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm doing a great job, like when I was a pro football kicker. Hey, Brian, what's a splat job? I, I don't I don't know, Stewie. I'm, I'm worried that you're seeing too much. We just realized we can keep all the money and kill you if you try to do anything about it. All right, we're just going to step outside and figure out a counter. Thank you. You want to eat mangled raisin bread across the street and watch the cops raid the place? Yeah, I'd like that. Oh, here comes the UPS guy. Yeah, we don't need those anymore. Genuinely did not know you could do that. Anything you order, if you don't sign for it, it has to go back. Most of what America is now is just boxes going back and forth. Jeff Banfield, I'd like you to please come down here, take your pants off, and sit. Me? What did I do? You know what you did, Jeff! What is going on here? What do you do? Just a little of the three R's. Reading, writing, and wrecking this guy's sack. You're fired. We've reinstated Principal Shepard. I went on a sex trip to Thailand, and I banged all the goofy right out of me. Well, I guess your mom was right all along. I had no business running a school. I thought you were awesome. And next time I want to get back at your bullies, I'll do it the old-fashioned way. As a grown man beating up teenagers in a parking lot. That's real you talk. You kids are the most important I'll thing I'll hell beat up some teenagers for my child. Forgot Meg. She's got everything she needs in her room. I'll fight some children. Oh, I love dodgeball. Heads up. Oh, oh, I love bunt kick. Heads up. <laughs> yep. Let him know. Cow. Heads up. Let him know. Oh. What did he now, do? Now, who would like to pass them out? Oh, 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 Miss Clifton, Miss Clifton, mm -hmm. over here. Oh, 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 Miss Clifton, Miss Clifton. Tonight's winning lottery numbers are 6, 21. I won. I'm free from all those snot-nosed little bastards. I can't believe Miss Clifton's gone. Really Who's going like to teach my class now? The ones Brian, that why don't you teach them. Chris's class? Good morning, class. I'm your substitute teacher, Brian Griffin. Good morning, Good morning Mr. Griffin. Griffin. Oh, please, please, call me I Brian, but you can be successful writers like Ben Affleck and Matt Damon. Ha, huh, there, finished. Who was, uh, Goodwill the Hunted by Matt Damon. Just right now, just pitch me a line, right now. Okay. And she ended up becoming a How about that? Teacher that wasn't a line. You just farted. It sucks. Mr. Griffin gave me an F on my first assignment. What? <laughs> an F, Brian? <laughs> After all Chris has done for you? When I was in school, you know what we used I to do when a teacher gave us a bad grade? I was we egg his house. Looking Come up. on, where's this bastard live? Dirty ah, stuff. Take that. Mark Twain here, online, filling in for Brian Griffin. Griffin. I understand you children read my book, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Well, I gotta catch my time steamboat back to the 1800s. The classroom and to, and hey, to sorry I'm late. Did I miss anything? Mr. Griffin, you've been reassigned. Please report like, to remedial I English. I reassigned? I was really starting to like this job. It was nice interacting with intelligent I... people. I usually hang out with an idiot. Pardon story me, is, is this first period English? Always have sex with people before they go I'm to your prison, new teacher, Mrs. Lockhart. Especially Lockhart. for pedophilia. What do you see yeah, here, I'm Chris? saying, because, uh, I mean, don't get it twisted. When she gets out... Two D's and an F. I'm, I'm still going I'm, uh, to Mr. Griffin, but you can call me Brian. She hits me Mr. Back. Griffin is my father. Anybody read Huckleberry Finn? My water 
I just broke. Oh, my God. Yo, it's my turn to deliver. Can I what? have this one? My mom keeps giving mine away. Did I hear my oh. big boy say he's got a crush on some lucky girl? Well, you know, Chris, I, I knew this keep, day would come. I so I brought baby? you a condom. Chris, honey, mine away. the way to win a girl is to do something romantic and unexpected. It's not. Sorry, no. I'm late, Never Mrs. listen Lockhart. to women. Chris, what are you doing? Never listen Being to women. romantic and unexpected. That's, oh, I don't think Mrs. Prison. Lockhart likes me at all. Mrs. Lockhart? Now you go to prison. Your teacher? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ew, gross. You know What's what else not? is gross? That's a good choice. Ah, I broke a damn blood vessel! Throw oh. that cake out so it don't, like, mess all up the bitch's house. I, I, I don't know what to do. Get in there tomorrow and do the robot. Wow, you know, you're right. All right, so I'm chilling no. in Verona when my this homie busts out with, Yo, Romeo, check no. out that biatch Juliet in the window. I don't even this talk like this. Uh, Our son yo, man, check out that would Joey like Juliet. to plow you. Mrs. Lockhart, we just wanted you to know so you could spare his feelings and let oh, him down gently. Down? I know exactly what to say it. to Chris. Thank you so much. Mrs. Lockhart? Chris, come down here. I need to talk to you. Well, that's what love Why are you here? Yep. If we're going to be together, I need you to call my husband. Yep, Do you have any idea what time it is? At least have, at least get the, the sex first. He should still be asleep. Mrs. Lockhart, Never murder a I don't think I can do this. Unless what? she's had yeah. sex Look with you at the fat man's underwear. Times. It's like a Jackson Pollock painting. Yeah, don't I mean, put anyone with my things. Because at seven huh, times... What's this? Chris is going to murder Mrs. Lockhart's she wants husband. To keep you around. We got to stop him. Oh, can we stop at the supermarket? Yeah, I know. I'm late. Okay, let's just get started. You gotta be freaking kidding me. That's an ampersand. It's a symbol for the word and. Nobody can be this stupid. Yo, Mr. Griffin, chillax. We'll do one the best we can. There is nothing I would like to do more than chillax, Amanda. Wow, Mr. Griffin, you're the first teacher that ever told us we could do anything. Well, I, I, I didn't mean sell your body for money. Ah! I do. Oh, we're too late. Okay, I gotta Always call the police. sell your body uh, for money. No, wait a you know minute. I, mean? I can't call the police. Because if you're out there dating, I have to get rid of this body. You're just gonna give it away for free prison. anyway. All right, you know I mean? wait, he's well, while mommy gets the cement blocks. Might as well what get a car. Oh, you know, you just know what I mean? a pizza party <laughs> at the office. Oh, yeah? oh. Well, <laughs> take it easy. Yes, yes, you too, you too. You know what I hate? A guy in a blue suit. Oh. There's one right behind me, isn't there? Hey, everybody. What's for dinner? I'm starving. His bloodlust is unquenchable. Chris, oh, you boy. murdered Mr. Lockhart. What? No, I didn't. Oh, come on, Chris. Everybody's done something they're not proud of. Chris, I saw the body. Premeditated murder is one thing, but I will not have lying in this house. It appears Ronald Lockhart has been brutally murdered by his wife, Lana, and a local bear. Chris, I guess we owe you an apology. You can watch TV anytime. I'm starving. Lana, this is going to be a real long trip if you don't knock off the crap. Got a birthday coming up for someone you absolutely hate? Why not tell them to go screw themselves by sending a giant fruit bouquet? Order now and make someone feel guilty about throwing it straight into the trash six hours later. I'm heading out for ladies' night. There's a casserole in the refrigerator. I'll be home at 11. What is this refrigerator you keep mentioning? Are you talking about the sandwich house? I guess I'm not the only person with a useless husband. Oh, it's so nice getting out of the house. If I had to change one more diaper, I was going to lose it. I'm in exactly the same boat. Hello, Cleveland. This is Michelle Obama. It is? Yes. I received all your letters, and I do like your mustache. You're eating a pie on the toilet, aren't you, Cleveland? Who is this? Is this a jerky boy? It's your wife, you big dummy. <laughs> Hello. Hello, is this Joe Swanson? Wait, you can talk normal? What do you mean? Never mind. What? All I need is time. Oh, but you have to be able to walk. Ah, uh, nuts. <laughs> My name is Rebecca. You've never met me before and probably don't even know I exist, but you're my father. I don't know. He sounded weird. Anything interesting happen tonight? Yep, I finally peed that chunk of poo off the side of the bowl. You know the one you've been yelling at me about? Do you think it's possible he actually has an illegitimate child? I don't know, but something's going on because I'm telling you, he lied right to my face. All right, I'll see you later. What? Where are you going? Laser tag orientation. Well, that's obviously not true. Brian, I need your car. I don't know, Lois. You're not on the insurance, and I don't think... It... Oh. Oh. You tell me what's going on right now. Okay, fine. Just before we got married, 
I was a little short of cash. I'd almost forgotten about it, but then last night I get this call from a woman who says she's my daughter. Peter, that was me. I was prank calling you. Why did you come here today? Because that call last night gave me a scare. I figured if I do have a kid out there, I want to make sure they're not giving out my information. Isn't it only fair to let him or her meet you? Eh, maybe you're right. Hi, is, uh, is Peter Griffin here? We were all pretty excited to meet you. What do you mean, we? Peter, how many times were you a sperm donor? Well, only once, but I had just seen Uma Thurman in Beautiful Girls, so it was kind of a cablamo. Can you all stay for dinner? Oh, we'd love that. Wouldn't we, guys? Yeah, absolutely. You said it, babe. Yeah, Chinese Peter, very hungry. <laughs> I've never felt proud of any of my children until now. He's wow. not crying because you look he's exactly sad. like me. I'm your smell. secret clone. We have been orphaned black. Ooh. Meg, where are you? Shit. I'm right here, Mom. Lois, oh Lois, can I keep the little person, Peter? No, they're too much work. But I'll take care of it, I promise. You always say that. Ah. Whoa, that was close. You almost dipped one of your yabos in the marinara. I gotta tell you, it's so strange. You look so much like Peter when I first met him. Well, I'm guessing you look exactly the same, too. Oh, hi, Larry. Hi, Lois. Is Peter here? Larry, it's only two in the afternoon. Peter's still sleeping off last night's party. Anyway, we didn't really get a chance to finish our conversation yesterday, and I thought maybe we could grab some lunch together. <sighs> that would give me a reason to get dressed today. Yeah. I got ice cream all over my fingers. Do you have a napkin? No, but... Let me help you clean it off. Oh, that's disgusting. I have to get back to my high school. Oh. Where I work. Oh. As a janitor. Oh. Hey, Lois, where's your purse? Me and some of my kids are going to the movies. By the way, Dwarf Peter died. I didn't know what he ate, so I gave him nothing. Why would I know where Larry is at? Who is Larry? Oh, never mind. All right, everybody bring your phone so we can text each other during the movie. He kissed me, and I, I kind of let him. I told him it could never happen again, and that... <clears throat> what are you doing? I told Larry that was it, and we couldn't be anything more than friends. So you're still going to see him? Yes, yeah. of course. He's, He's a nice him. young man. Is everything yeah. okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just hurt my neck this morning, vigorously nodding approval to Judge Judy. Lois, is a president stronger than a king? What the hell? Oh, Peter... L look, calm down. We're just friends. I might as well just tell you, Peter. I'm in love with Lois. I knew it the moment we kissed. Kissed? Is that true? Damn. Ah! Ooh. Yeah. Oh, you get your ass whipped by your younger self? No! Whoa. What the hell? Lois? But if he's not your boyfriend... Why'd you kiss him? He kissed me. And I should have told you. Female I'm nature, I'm sorry bro. if I hurt you, Peter. <sighs> Maybe I have been taking you for granted. Make her but I promise I'll make, make it up make to it you. Up I'll you. be the best husband ever. You already are. Someone who wants to watch TV with me on a Saturday night and isn't afraid to pop a zit on my back. Afraid? I love doing that. From now on, I'm making sure my sperm stays right where it belongs. Oh. In the bathroom sink. <laughs> <laughs> What type of nasty shit? Well, everything looks fine. What the All right, family, line up for cigar burns. What? Damn. Ah. Damn. Ah. That's worse than the Ow. black family. Even ah. we don't do that. Ah. Damn, we just hit our kids. We Wait don't a minute, who are you? I'm your other son, Macoba, here for my cigar burn, good sir. Stewie, go on, get out of here, you stupid laugh and cry, F and cry. What's the difference? Boy, I sure hope they find him. Otherwise, we're all going to be... Oh. So, it's all out in the open now, isn't it? Stewie, it is. uh, how long have you been all messed up and evil like this? Oh, so now you're interested in Stewie. Last week when I made that macaroni picture of an owl, you didn't give a damn. That was an owl? Yes, and now oh. we're going to look at it again. Oh, ah, shit. Ah, ah, ah. Look, look, do you like it? Yes. No. yes. What do you like about it specifically? It looks I like don't know. Pick something snowman. or I'll blow your brains out. Oh, God. I like how it looks like an owl. Thank you for the compliment. <laughs> 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 
That's how you get fondled with. Damn. Okay, Chris, this is mm -hmm. the gentle art of philately, otherwise known as stamp collecting. Here's Flatly. a pile of stamps carefully culled from swap meets and garage sales. Do white people and look really at this. do this? It's a Bolivian airplane. Now, it says it's what worth the... eight cents, but really, it's worth 12. See that? Mother... Already ahead. Came what? right out of the blocks with a winner here, Chris. We ain't get now no we'll head for this. just paste this very carefully Females into the book. Females ain't gonna suck on nothing if we tell them we collect stamps. And that's where it belongs. Now, this is a loaded handgun. And what we're gonna do now is kill ourselves okay, this because this sucks. is horrible. This Couldn't is a game, we just this is a stop sucky philatling? game. Too late. Move! I'm entitled to these things, Lewis, especially after I got shafted by that Asian Santa at the mall. Ew. What you want? What you want for Christmas? Um, I was thinking maybe oh, one of those old timey. Too late! Take too long! Sad Christmas! Get shafted. Ooh. What you want? Fire truck! What color? Red! Next! Ah. Oh. We've been canceled. Oh, no. Peter, how could they do that? Well, unfortunately, Lois, there's just no more room on the schedule. We've just got to accept the fact that Fox has to make room for terrific shows like Dark Angel, Titus, Undeclared, Action, That 80s Show, Wonder Falls, Fast Lane, Andy Richter Controls the Universe, Skin, Girls Club, Cracking Up, The Pits, Firefly, Get Real, Freaky Links, Wanda at Large, Costello, the Lone Gunman, A Minute with Stan Hooper, Normal Bobo? Ohio, Freaky Pasadena, Link. Harsh Link. Realm, Link. Keen Link. Eddie, The Street, Wanda. American Link. Embassy, Link. Cedric Link. the Entertainer, blah, blah. The Tick, to Louis, Wanda. and Greg Freaky the Bunny. Link. Is there no hope? Well, I suppose if all those shows go down the tubes, we might have a shot. Where's Brian? Breakfast is getting cold. In tonight's episode, the part of Brian the Dog will be played by Carter Banks. Here I am. Sorry, I... Camera two. Sorry, I overslept. Yes, well, do you want breakfast or would you rather chew on your own ass as usual? Do I have to <clears> answer <throat> that? Well, I'm, 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 sh I'm sure you have something to say to that, hmm? Who chews their own anus? Where are you getting these oh. things from? Oh, God, you don't sorry. Out much, Can you, you give me the line again? Not the whole line, just the end of it. Oh, let's, let, let, let's cut. All right, you, you, you're sleeping with which producer? God, as soon as my movie deal kicks in, I am such a goose. I just put whatever in whatever. Hey guys, check it out. Cat legs. Cats arise. Bruh. Guys, it's working. <laughs> oh. Why does he have a... Not dead. Oh. Hey, you're not even dressed. For what? Chris's class is performing a rock and roll choir. They've been practicing for months. For months or four months? For months. Three months. Not long enough. Pass. <laughs> Hey, are you a big fat bastard who loves eating at Outback Steakhouse but thinks the portions are too small? Well, good news, fat ass, because now there's the Outback Steakhouse Extreme. We don't have a bloomin' onion, we have a bloomin' pumpkin. You know what else we got? Elephant steaks, 50 pound elephant steaks. And why don't you wash it down with 40 ounces of malt liquor and ranch dressing, you fat <laughs> Outback Steakhouse Extreme. Punish your toilet. Oh. When life is getting to you, put some fresh in your life. Let mentals freshen up your life. Life is just a breeze when you stay fresh and cool. Cause mentals puts the fresh in life. Taste that freshness, just can't beat it. Mentals freshness, fresh in your life. Word? Mentals, the fresh maker. You know, These commercials are stupid. They certainly don't make me want a minto. Totally ineffective. Must kill Lincoln. Hey, how's the old guy doing? Ugh, now here's Joe. Well, why is everybody we know depressing? Mr. Pewterschmidt, I'm afraid I have some bad news. I'm gonna have to revoke your driver's license. What? It's obvious your advanced age has impaired your ability to drive safely. Please, Joe, I, I know he had an accident, but can't you look the other way this one time? As a friend? Yeah, you know, Joe, you owed his family. I didn't tell anyone about your Fiona Apple tribute video. I've been a bad, bad girl. I've been careless with a delicate man. And it's a sad, sad world. Delicate? The fuck? When a girl will break a boy just because she can. I'm broken. Oh. Joe! Open the garage! I've earned this private time! <laughs> <laughs> hey! 
The wind wants my hand to go back, but I'm not letting it. I'm stronger than air. Wow, well, sure, that'd be great. Jillian, don't you want your own father to give you away? Lois, don't ruin this for me. Don't ruin this like you're ruined kick cereal. Mmm, this kick cereal is good tasting. And it's good for you. Nah. Peter would be happy to do the honors. Plus, when's the next time you're gonna get to give a bride away? I know, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. You can give me away when I get married, Dad. Nah. What? Is that real? Was that really how you do meth? Was that booger sugar? Mr. Griffin, now you've got your flu shot. Will you stop oh. giving him flu shots, man? We got a show to do. Oh, Quagmire, it's cool. It's cool. This is the doctor that killed Michael Jackson. Oh, my God. Lois, you're right. Booze made me fall down all those stairs. Booze killed my father. Well, from this day forward, I, Peter Griffin, will never drink again. Nice game, Peter. Yeah, I'm on a roll. I whipped Chris on the ice today, too. Enjoy it while it lasts. It's only a matter of time before he beats you. What are you talking about? I'm better than him at everything. You name it, sports, video games, even magic tricks. Ha <laughs> Got your nose. Oh, yeah? Well, I got your face. <laughs> Calm down, Chris. It's only a trick. Chris, way too sensitive for that one. Oh, I know you're tired, Stewie, but you can sleep all you want in the car. Ugh, 6 a.m. I shouldn't have stayed up all night listening to Persian radio. Hey, that was Roxette with You've Got the Look. It's 21 o'clock and still 27 centigrade out there. Ooh, that's hot. So, if you're cruising along the left side of the road at 120 kilometers per hour in the heavy desert, turn up the decibels, because it's Shaleb Mami with Zechech Malech on 103.2, oh. the hach. Oh, you can taste the loogie. Ah! Wow, I have so much clarity now. I know how I'm going to move on. I have to kill Chris and Rupert right away. I guess that means I'll miss that taping of Deepak Chopra Winfrey. Everyone, check your seats. You get diarrhea, and you get diarrhea, and you get diarrhea. Everyone's getting diarrhea. All right, Griffin, you're clearly a smoker. Enjoy your break. Wow, I can use smoking to get out of anything. Finally, I'm above the law, like my 14th century ancestor, King of Denmark, Griffin. More wine, more women, more table. Oh, I've got to do something. Jasper's always been there for me when I've needed him. I am going to make Mayor West change his mind. But Brian, the Bible says gay marriage is an abomination. Oh, don't give me that young Republican crap, Chris. The Bible also says a senior citizen built an ark and rounded up two of every animal. Hey. Yeah? What the hell is this? Oh, you didn't really give any specific guidelines about hey. mating. Did you name it? Uh, what? Did you name it? I mean... Uh, yeah, he's Paul. Yeah? Well, it's gonna be a hell of a lot harder for you now because he's going the f overboard. Oh, come on, baby. Oh. Hey, did you see those pictures of me doing duck lips by a pool? Bitch. I don't know, some island. Hit her! Shh. You rebel scum. <laughs> yeah, you're too young, you don't know. We now return to Superman. <laughs> Lois, what's wrong? Clark, we all have breast cancer. The doctor says it's as if our breasts have been x-rayed five hours a day, every day for the last three years. Oh my God, that's terrible. First every woman I've ever known, and now you guys. He's a little cranky from teething. Oh, I can fix that. No, oh, good God, man. One can only imagine what foul regions that finger has erstwhile probed. There you go. My mother used to use whiskey whenever I had a toothache. My tooth hurts. Mayor West, what do you plan to do if you win the lottery? Well, I'd finally splurge and buy myself one of those fancy four-piece suits. I'd like to join your country club. I assume that won't be a problem. Look, Stewie, I can't talk about this now, all right? Jeez, what's your problem? I, I just... I, I did a bad thing, and I don't know what to do about it. I, I, f I feel like I'm losing my mind. Oh, that's how I felt at that Grateful Dead show. Does anybody want to buy my shirt? I'll trade you my shirt for a grilled cheese. <laughs> wow, 
Those are the Russian... Because we're in Russia! You going fishing again? Yes, Lois, I love fishing. Remember fishing was my not-at-all memorable job for two years? No. You don't remember my fishing boat? You don't remember Santos and Pasquale? Not even a little. They were like male consuelas. It was a mistake making them Portuguese, though. People don't even know what a Portuguese is. That's what I thought a Portuguese was. Hey, Me and my been... brain, huh? Well, and we're just to... getting started. Well, learn. first let me thank you for answering the ad. Now, what do you feel qualifies you to be an effective babysitter for Stewie? A gente é ótima com os meninos. Uh, yeah. Uh, we couldn't run an ad that said no Portuguese, but, um, no Portuguese. I'm sorry, Peter, but the government makes the rules. I just enforce them. I believe this, Joe. This is like living in Russia. I might as well just move there. You don't want to do that. It's dark, it's cold, and hooking up is just a crapshoot because of all the big coats. All right, drop the coats on three. One, two, three. Oh. Yeah! What am I going to do? I'm going to be in so much trouble when they find out I wrecked Brian's car. They'll probably ship me off to Siberia. This sucks. I hate it here. Shut up. Drink wolf milk and watch Russian cartoons. We now return to popular Russian cartoon Shoe and Shoeless. Shoe and Shoeless. One is meaningless without the other. You bastard! I was having fun playing in the snow, and now you've ruined it like a pizza place ruins a salad. Okay, four pizzas and a salad. Salad? How do you make a salad? First, you throw in the whole head of lettuce. Even the hard-to-eat white part at the bottom? That's what the people want. Now, what else? I got a can of whole black olives. Should I slice them up? What are you, crazy? No, you keep them whole. You're gonna want to know you've got an olive in your mouth. What about this tomato? Cut it into thirds. It should be big enough to pretend you've got red teeth. How about this carrot? Should I cut it up? Yes, but very thin lengthwise. The whole length of the carrot. One thin slice. Okay, what else do we got? Well, we got these hot peppers, but you can't can't really eat them. No problem. Dump them all in. Now, should we put it in a bowl? No, let's put it in a lasagna tray. Okay, great. I'll take it. Oh, and make sure to stick it right on top of the pizza so it stays nice and warm. Hello, every pizza place. Come on, you guys. I'm going to buy us the most expensive meal we've ever had. Yeah, I'd like 6,000 chicken fajitas, please. I beg your pardon? Uh, 6,000 chicken fajitas. And a sausage McBiscuit, please. We gather today to remember those brave Quahog men who were lost at sea. They the die? Bible declares an eye for an eye. So let us now take our vengeance on this murderous ocean. <laughs> you won't be hurting anyone anymore. I'm going to be in so much trouble when they find out I wrecked Brian's car. They'll probably ship me off to Siberia. This sucks. I hate it here. Shut up. Drink wolf milk and watch Russian cartoons. We now return to popular Russian cartoon Shoe and Shoeless. Shoe and Shoeless. One is meaningless without the other. Peter, you're going to Meg's play, and that's that. Is that that now, Mrs. That's That? If you're gonna shoot me, you might want to tie your shoelaces first. Ah! Now, are you gonna go to Meg's play or not? Yes! You like eating red carpet, tough guy? Yes! Say you like eating red carpet! I like eating red carpet! <laughs> ah! Mom, can we go back to the vet and see the pretty vet assistant again? Well, I guess if Brian gets sick again... Oh, boy! Hey, Brian, look! <laughs> Brian's sick! Mom, get your key! <laughs> I haven't been this uh, since I, uh, I... I don't... I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing, uh, but... Oh, there's track star Wilma Rudolph. Obviously, she had something to do with the gag, but I didn't hear the setup, so I don't really know the, the context. Hey, I wonder what Peter's up to. Do you have any experience helping out people with special needs? Well, I did work for that old lady down the street. Meg, could you come here, please? What is it? Could you see if I'm getting a bed sore on my back? Sure. Looks fine to me, ma'am. Thank you, dear. I must have just slept on it wrong. <laughs> I stole Meg's cutaway. <laughs> Yeah, 
Here it is, guys. What do you think? I'm realizing I may have a cat allergy. I think it's great, Glenn. And people really seem to be enjoying themselves. Boy, if I could clean myself with my tongue, I'd never leave the house. <laughs> right? <laughs> and it's like if I had nine lives, maybe I'd finally find a man. <laughs> You's joining me. Ugh, you shouldn't wear people's old dirty clothes. Well, I'm a dirty guy, Lois. Haven't you ever seen my naughty late-night party line commercials? Hey, are you lonely? Do you like to party with hot girls? What about horsing around with fat guys? Well, what are you waiting for? Give us a call. I'll be on the toilet wearing a t-shirt that's so long I have to hold it under my chin while I wipe. So I'm through listening to you. Fine. Think what you want, aging supermodel Carol Alt. Carol, come in here. They're saying your name on the family man. What? Huh? What? Huh? What? I forget. Oh, I wonder how your father's first day at work went. Dad, what the hell are you doing? Uh, yeah, hey, buddy. Uh, I have a triple cheeseburger and a large fries and, uh, you sell yep. pants. Yeah, there it is. Hey, Meg, yeah. what's with all the beer cans? Oh, my dad got a job at the brewery and he gets lots of free beer. Actually, he's kind of been going overboard lately. Oh, my God. Hey, Meg, <laughs> you see my pants? <gasps> oh, Lois, by the way, we're out of toilet paper. Oh, 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 you go wipe your ass on her leg. Well, Lois, I gotta say, it's great to have you home from prison. Uh, it's great to be home. Hey, uh, I gotta ask, are, are you gonna stay that jacked forever? I don't know. Do you like it? I, no. I, I do, and I don't. No, you I know? don't. It, 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 was, it was nice being held up against a wall, but when you made me suck the hairdryer, I, I, I enjoyed it. I did, but I, I, I don't want to do that specific thing again. Well, that's too bad, because I'm ready for round two. Just got to make sure the kids don't come in. <laughs> now no one can get in, and no one can get out. Hands Whoa. on the headboard, Chief. Yes, ma'am. Wait, what? I guess I'm just going to have to take him by surprise. Shouldn't be too hard. After all, I used to be a Pete in the box. Ah, 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 the weasel. Peter, you've got to stop living in your own stupid world. I'm sorry, but I can't be with someone who doesn't believe in Jesus. Hey, hey, you heard my name. Wow, Jesus. Oh, you're dead now, Lois. Jesus is going to kill you, and then we're going to bury you in a yard next to Kathy Island. I, 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 I mean, I, I mean, nice weather we're having. Look, Peter, I thought it might interest you to know that I'm Jewish. What? He's Jewish, Peter. Jewish, like, full-on, like you practice Jewism? I am a Jew. Prove it. What's a 9% tip on a $200 bill? $18. Damn. Which is fair. Oh, my God, it's true. Just waiting for my breakfast. Lois! I know how to get her attention. Lois! Oh. I'm about to drink my first soda. Better come stop me. Hmm, that must be the sugar. Oh, God, that's good. Rupert, suddenly I want to run. Chase me. We can't do that. Don't you know a lot of discarded electronics end up in the ocean and kill sea turtles? Well, then, let's cut out the middleman. I'm sorry, there's a new phone. Oh. I should warn you, I have a tiny bulletproof shield the exact size of a bullet somewhere on my body. And if you hit it, I'll be unharmed and your plan will be foiled. You'll be the laughing stock of me. I don't want to shoot you, Mayor West. Good, because I'm incredibly crafty. Hey, what's that on the ceiling? Ha <laughs> ha! Now I'm over here. Hey, uh, don't tell Mom that we don't use car seats with me. That's what is about What do you think you're doing? Okay, Stewie, you're gonna help Daddy by holding his iPad while he watches season one of House of Cards. Where was the house? Where was the house of cards? All right, Stewie, time to go. Whoa, whoa, a little wobbly. Why did it die on the Guess toilet my legs fell asleep. Yeah. Oh my God. Stewie, Daddy can't feel his legs. Go get help. I'm hanging from a door, you idiot. In Quahog, 
and it's made everything just so great. Okay, you, you can read the next one. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. No, you. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's let's read it both together. Okay. Ready? Okay. Here's, Here's Ollie, Ollie Williams, Williams with, with a blacky weather, weather forecast. forecast. How's the weather look, Ollie? Not too bad. Right on. Holy crap! A hundred bucks. Hey, nice going, Chris. Wow! Look how proud my dad is. Oh my god! A duck! It was a trap! <laughs> Oh, they're making fun of that movie, um, The Blind. With that blood, when they're in that house. I saw that movie. It was good. Oh, no, they're not. Is this the right movie? I'm not loving this night vision setting. Maybe I should try Night at the Roxbury Vision. You, me, you. Ah! It puts the bullet in the fat guy. And I'm still a young woman, Peter. 82 is the new 74. I'm putting my fine ass back on the market. You Boy, this is really going to upset my evil brother Thaddeus. Women yeah, are really that this will surely too. affect my inheritance. Yeah. Women are really that foolish. I got it. Huh, says Glenn Quagmire. But if you squint and imagine it says Peter Griffin, it says Peter Griffin. Peter, it's Quagmire's. Take it next door. Now, now, hold on, Lois. Now, this poses a very difficult ethical dilemma. Do I deliver the package to its rightful owner, or do I open it up and see if it contains He-Mans? Do not open that box. You know, Lois, physicists believe there are two alternate universes, one in which I don't open the box and one in which I do. I'm not going to open the box. I'm going to open the box. Ah, oh, sweet. It's a whip. Yeah, oh. be careful with that thing. Remember, we're renting this house. That's depressing. Wow. I haven't felt this powerful since I got to decide which ant lives and which ant dies. You shall battle to the death, and the winner will be given his freedom. Why are you looking at me like that? Peter, would you like a glass of... Oh, my God! I told you not to play God with those ants! That's what happened. Why is there a dusty gas station and a Diet Pepsi machine in your office? Why is your jean pants made into a thong? Because your car broke down and you need to wipe a cold soda on your neck to cool off. Well, may maybe I don't need to cool off. Maybe you don't need to be employed. Bam. It's hot in here, isn't it? Yes. You need to cool off, don't you? I need to cool off. You need to wipe your neck with the soda can. I need to wipe my neck with the soda can. Do it! Now get out of here, you slut. Okay. Can I keep the soda? Oh, all right. Yeah. Come on, everybody. Let's go. Oh, this is so exciting. You know, this is the 10th year my father has raced his yacht in the Newport Regatta. Man, I hope he lets me on his team this year. I haven't been part of a team since I was with the Four Peters. These are wonderful, sweetie. Uh, Chris, why don't you put these upstairs in your closet so we don't lose them? But the evil monkey lives in my closet. Of course, he hasn't been as evil since he became a Jehovah's Witness. Ah! That's even worse. All right, Rupert, here we go. Oh. Uh -huh. Well, I'm not dead, but I do have a boner. So that is something new about Stewie. Hey, Lois, you remember that time you and me made it under the boardwalk? <laughs> when I go back to school, my greaser friends are gonna say, tell me more, tell me more. And I'm gonna say you were a slut. <laughs> that was the first time I noticed you didn't have an ear. What? Never mind. 
India, the most spiritual country in the world. God is not here. Jeez, that's all my life is lately, just a bunch of chores. I'm sick of Lois always making me do stupid stuff. I know what you're saying, Peter. Bonnie's always making me do all these impossible household tasks. Joe, make sure you get all the tire tracks out of the carpet. Shouldn't have got married, man. Not me. I will. Nothing wrong with getting married, but. Learn to live with it, Bonnie! There are tracks! People make tracks! Never be married to a chick who's pregnant for 74 months straight. What are you doing? Turn that chainsaw off! Not a chance, Lois. You know how hard it was to get that thing started? It was even worse than trying to cover anything with saran wrap. I got a story about a fat guy who's starving and bored. Look, Peter, if you're that hungry, go down to the dock and find Daddy, and we'll get dinner started. You're not gonna get dinner started. She's gonna tell that sloppy old Spanish maid to do it. And she will, but only because she needs money to pay for medicine for her prematurely overweight son, Diabito. Mama, may I have cookie? No, Diabito. Roll back to kitchen. Oh. You guys like impressions? Here's that guy Bob from Bob's Burgers. Hi, I'm Bob from Bob's Burgers. How about that show, Archer? You watch that show, Archer? Here's that guy, Archer. Hi, I'm Archer from that show, Archer. Now, what if those guys met? Hey, Archer, it's Bob. Hey, Bob, it's Archer. Thank you. What? Single-handedly? Officer Swanson, as thanks from a grateful city, please accept the Certificate of Merit. And with that, I hereby declare this hero cop open. <laughs> Whoa, sweet bod. We're not gonna say that last part. Look, Chris, I'm sorry, but money's tight right now. Yeah, I even had to take a second job as a door-to-door -door vacuum salesman. This thing can pick up anything. Here's a little demonstration. I'll pour some wine, rub in some feces, and to top it off, some mustard mixed with feces. Ooh. Tough stain, right? Oh, crap, I forgot the vacuum. Yeah, she's working the champagne room. Follow me. Hey, Quagmire, you were... Uh... You ever been to Atlantic I City before? Oh, once, about 20 years ago. Why? All right! All right! Oh, All right! All right! All right! No. All right. <laughs> oh, thank God. I really dodged a bullet there. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Ah, everybody makes mistakes. Even doctors. <laughs> you forgot to I say... I forgot to say clear. Yeah, if you don't say clear, they... Well, I guess you just never know what kind of rage they some people explode? have bottled up. Well, we all got anger, Chris. The important thing is finding a healthy way to channel it. For me, as you know, it's the family bath. Peter, how that's long do we a... have to sit here? Until Come on, I'm not bro, angry not anymore, okay. you naked bunch of bitches! Oh! Eh, enough time passes, you'll forget all about him. Just like Inspector Gadget forgot about that one-night stand. Oh! Suzanne, we have to talk. Okay. Someone has made contact with me, someone from my past, and, well, long story short, go, go, Guatemalan son. Oh! I'm sorry, we're all booked up because the slut convention's in town. Slut Yo. convention? Yeah, they were promised a single millionaire, but it's really just a bunch of horny squirrels in a rich guy suit. So, you made your money in business? Horny squirrels? Really handsome. Oh! oh that's, that's it. <laughs> Unconsensual assault is funny when it's the animals doing it and not the humans. Yep. Besides, if I listened to you guys, I never would have got that job as a seat filler for fetuses. Okay, what? let's take a look at your baby, shall we? We're going to seat filler for no fetus? Hi, he'll be right back. He's in the bathroom. What? Where do babies Oh, poop? just thinking about it makes me all giddy. Like a group of women ordering dessert. And then we have a chocolate chocolate cake that's infused with chocolate, served with chocolate ice cream and a molten chocolate topping. We'll have one of those with four spoons. More like four of those with one spoon for me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna make the obvious joke here because she is long old. See, if this is normal in the suburbs. It's just oh, well, you should hear my prank phone calls. I did prank hey, phone calls. Is your refrigerator running? Isn't yes, it? it is. Are your doors unlocked? Are they? What? Are they? Why? Oh God! Come on, bro. That's not funny. I don't know. They all kind of look the same. What do you mean they all look the same? Damn. You know, I was so desperate there for a I while, I even tried a Jewish club. Uh, you don't want to get involved with them religious groups. They believe in all shoulder? kinds of weird stuff. 
Weird. If I believe in Jesus hard enough, I will not die. Is that if possible? If I believe in Snake Jesus hard enough, he will die. It's Snake Jesus. If I believe genitalia? in Tree Jesus hard enough, both of them will die. <laughs> Yay! Thank you, Tree Jesus. Isn't there a Tree Jesus? I don't know, Joe. Sometimes the security's pretty lax. I mean, the last plane I was on got gay jacked. What? This plane's going to Miami. You guys gotta stop sending this to PhD, man. Y'all know I don't do this. Hey, I with that P Diddy's dusty party shit. Hold on now. Ho. Oh. Oh. Ho. Of course, it's what he would have wanted. Listen, we all gotta move on. Like the Secret Service did on November 23rd, 1963. All right, guys. I know that yesterday was a rough one for us. But it's with great pride that I'm gonna turn this zero into a one. All right! Nichols, you should go home and change. Oh. Wait a minute. Maybe not, Brian. I think I just got an idea. Ah, I got glass in my face! Oh. oh crap, now I forgot what it was. I got it! Yeah, son of a bitch! Try anything new today? Talk to anyone interesting? No, not really. Oh, that beef bowl is wrecking me. Oh. My stomach feels like that time I had explosive diarrhea. What type of beef bowl did he eat? Oh! Roundhouse. I knew I should have brought Peter instead of you. Oh, come on, you would have done much worse with him. He's got a terrible tell. They're playing poker? <gasps> There's actually towns that'll let you know when the person cards, has Peter? like. No, I'm good. They'll let you know, like. Maybe we should just let the clam go and, I don't know, spend more time with our family. Oh, hell no. Yeah, I tried no. that. I just spent most of the time testing Chris to see if he's autistic. Oh. Not overly affectionate. Wow, Brian, you've had quite a string of female guests spend the night lately. Yeah, whatever you're doing, it's working. You should see the way I have to pick up chicks. Hi. <laughs> yeah, that does not work. Take that from my experience. What? That does I'm doing not work. I'm the best I can. I'm not Nathaniel Hawthorne. <laughs> Who's Nathaniel Hawthorne? Nathaniel, what are you doing? Just ruining ninth grade for everyone. Who the hell is Nathaniel? This is a phone sex operation. Is it? I can't do this. It you better. You're going to learn today. Oh, my God. Two grand a With week. With that type of money, I could buy pots and pans at William Sonoma. That's more than most only This is a very nice make. set. You must be a phone whore. You bet your sweet ass I am. Oh! Peter, that might be the worst idea anyone has ever had. Well, you're wrong there. The worst idea anyone ever had was silver bullets. Silver Barbara bullets. Leibowitz's husband just bought her a diamond brooch. You know how he afforded that? Is that Robin? He uses regular bullets. He uses regular bullets. Where's Batman? The History Channel presents Where's Where in World War II is Waldo? Oh, well, at least you can see him. You know, he's sleeping underwater. Come yeah, on, I mean, can't you give that giraffe at home another chance? Never sleep you know, underwater. You for everyone they sell, That's they BHD save the giraffe advice in the right wild. There. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, giraffe. They only bought one. Nah, they returned it. What? Griffin, we just had an opening. Congratulations, you are now a member. Oh, my God, really? And to think yesterday I was just a guy at home eating catnip. Oh, hell no. no. Yeah, it's weird. He doesn't even talk. Well, he was living among wild animals for two months. And you know how impressionable your dad can be. Wild animals? The life of Jay. Okay, I thought that said the life of Jerk. What? But I've taken on Who bigger challenges before. I had to explain to America why Heidi Klum broke up with Seal. Oh. Faith. Yeah, yeah, the scar. We now return to was. Stabbed in the Butt, the only game show where if you get the answer wrong, you get stabbed in the butt. It sounds like prison. All right, Bradley, here's your question. I'm not what going back to jail. What is the atomic weight of nitrogen? There's nothing worth being stabbed <gasps> in the him, butt. Get him, guys! Stab him in the butt! Y'all got to kill me. I kill may me. have gambled away our plane tickets. You what? How do you even do that? It's Vegas, Brian. You can gamble anything. Yeah, I'd like true. to bet my daughter's virginity on 23. I'm sorry, it's 31. How's it going here? Not great. I know what you mean. We just took a pounding at the craps table. Oh, I bet. Oh. Ah! 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 Wow, I don't believe it. Hey, congratulations, buddy. You know, you're a lucky guy. The only thing I ever won was an extra day of summer. Okay, Peter, one more day. How do you win a day of summer, man? Motherfucker. I saw what I looked like in a car window, and now I don't want to go. Just wear a bra. 
If we're a sports yeah, bra and this you, luxury. your titty is it's a like being in a gay guy's dream. Come Enjoying on, the view? It's glorious, Edwin. Would you like another salad bowl of chocolate-covered oysters? Is that gay enough? And then some. I'll this has been the mouth. gayest vacation I'll I've ever had. I'll punch you in your mouth. I love smelling me on your breath. Don't you ever touch my titty. I'll punch you in the mouth. And then somebody replaced Meg's sleeping pills with Alka-Seltzer. People are gonna miss me when I'm... <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, even school's getting more dangerous. The bullies have been so busy, they're outsourcing their bullying to India. Okay, do you see the back of your underwear in the mirror? Yes. Okay, I want you to pull it up as high as you can. Never look at your in the oh, mirror, There goes man. my it's music not... career. Wonder if I can get my old job back, painting kids' faces at birthday parties. There you go, Timmy. Sir, you're gonna have to leave. You're just drawing penises with a sharpie on children's faces. It's provocative. I don't know how to draw a cat. It's all sexy. We now return to Canadian Horror Story. Oh. Hey, hon, we're out of Molson. Oh, not to worry. We've got some Labats in the garage. And could you get one for the ghost? Boo, eh? I am gonna make this family proud. And not just you guys, but that old painting of my ancestor in the attic. I did it! I'm gonna be on TV! Did you kill the others? I shan't! You must. I'm gonna go talk to the statue Who in the basement. Who are the others? Did you kill the painting? This place is a nuthouse. Who fights the penguin? I mean, Look at us, Brian. Frontier people. I feel like those miners who first struck gold in San Francisco. Who's frontier? People. Oh my god, we did it! We struck gold! This is amazing! We're gonna be rich! Please, rich and gay? Damn it! No! We now return to Bottom Chef. Daniel L., please pack your fudge and go. Bottom? Fine! Who packs what? Oh, this is unbelievable! I haven't had this much fun since I... Jeez, you are not gonna let this go, are you? Probably You're not. As stubborn as a four-hour erection. Oh! Well, she's long gone, so, uh, you can go, too. Oh, I'm... no. You got me for another three and a half hours, I've pal. Never go ahead, seek medical attention. Erection. I'm not going anywhere. You can't stay. I'm chaperoning my daughter's Girl Scout dinner in 45 minutes. Oh. Well, tuck me into your waistband and try not to pee up your shirt. Oh. I've never no, keep had that a freakish thing under wraps. I don't want it cramping my style while I'm macking on toddlers. Yeah, yeah. I know a girl who does that. See you around, bitch. She likes being treated Because you just had too. to stop for ice cream. Then you get in there and you order like you never heard of food before. Oh, coffee fudge swirl with Reese's peanut butter cups. Oh, I wonder what's in that. You just listed off all the ingredients. Everything you just said is what's in that. Stewie, I think you're overthinking this. No, no, you're right, you're right, Brian. I'm with Rupert now. I just need to forget Oscar, no matter how intense our relationship was. What type of what? No, no! That's amazing. It's like you took all the colors that exist and said, here's a new one. Huh, huh, no, well, good. not the baby. You were just slowing me down anyway. You, Asian lady, you're the new Lois. I will have one scoop of mint chocolate chip in a waffle cone. You're a practical, straightforward people. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Uh, this is more painful than sitting through those parent teacher cheetah meetings. I didn't so, laugh. In short, your kids are all doing great. Keep reading to them every night, and I think we're going to have a great year. Where's the so, kids unless at? there are any questions, thank those you all, are all for coming. Adults. Uh, yeah, I noticed the hot lunch menu doesn't feature any gazelle. <gasps> Who cooks I'll gazelle? I'll bring that up to the board. Yeah, see, I, I, I heard that last year, and <laughs> here we are again. Stewie, relax. Like You're getting all worked up like over like nothing. That. Says the guy who freaks out every time a fire engine goes by. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Peter, Peter, you hear that? <laughs> I'm matching the sound. <laughs> is what I'm doing helping? It really is not. Meg, are you okay? Oh. You guys, I've tried everything, but it's hopeless. He's Was going he to kill up? me. I can already picture my funeral. Oh. Thanks, didn't want to pay for the hole. Oh. Yeah, never pay for the well, hole. I'm awake now, Brian. And never, I know what I gotta do. Never well, pay you do for anything, the hole, For God's sake, put some clothes on. Brian, calm down. In some countries, this is a compliment. You mm. want free hole. Mm. Oh, my you know I mean? goodness. Mm. Oh, God. Oh, please. Oh. Come on. It's just something I threw together. <laughs> Look, I miss Brian more than any of you, but at least now no one's forcing us to watch those awful PBS documentaries. <coughs> and now, PBS presents Albino Children Are Normal. 
Are so, they? with the exception of not being able to go out in the sun, you're completely normal? Yes. The moon is my sun. I like to kill beetles. Beetles are teachers. I sleep with a fork. We what now return to Miracle on 134th Street. Oh my god, I left my phone in my car! Wow, it's still there! <laughs> That's racist! That's so racist! I've been this grateful since I met the same habit. Excuse me, how do I get back through the looking glass? <laughs> oh, yeah. Take two left, and it's the first door on your right. Cool, great. Thanks for not giving me the run around. I, I asked that guy over there, but he just told me a bunch of rhyming nonsense. Oh, yeah. He's like a well known dick. Why does that teapot have titties on it? Oh, my God, 10 losses in a row? This whole season's been one long bad dream. Yeah, like that one where I walk into the bank and I ain't got no clothes on. <laughs> Sir, what are you doing? You have no clothes on. Ah, must be having one of those dreams again. Better Look. wake myself up. I've had oh, my car God. broken into well, a lot. Time to apply for this small I... business loan. So that's why it's so funny to I'm me. Sorry I dragged you around the I world. Looking the for hood. God. You can't leave. You can't leave stuff in your car. a married guy to Vegas. So I'm thinking steakhouse. Do they have salad? I can't eat red meat. Yeah. Then we hit the tables. I'm already down 30 bucks. Maybe the sports book? Oh, Is that near Caesars? I gotta get Brandy a Celine Dion t-shirt. Oh. And then the strip club. Guys, we have a 7 a.m. tea time. And are we just gonna bail on the Hoover Dam? The fuck? Peter, come on. Are you serious? If Joe or I found this, we'd want you right alongside us. Oh, well, yeah. We're like peas in a pod. Wait, wait, don't go in there. He's doing his podcast. Oh, that's cute. Now that I like. What do you think about this, you old bag? Oh, no. What? What are you talking about? Just that when you were younger, you were as passionate and full of life as him. Hey, boys, catch me if you can. You need to add. You, yep, whoop him. Jump him. Oh, crap, him. I didn't realize yep. they had bikes. Nasty what mother. are they going to do when they catch me? Oh, boy, I got a back of the head punch coming. I just Nasty know it. Mother. We now you? return Peace. to Captain Central America. I thought he was about to say Captain Save a Hole. Bro, we need to do that. Keep Captain watch. Save a Hole. Gracias. What are my powers? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's weird. You're like really good at painting my living room. Oh. Up, up, and get it done by Saturday. We're having a party. We never go anywhere anymore. We're getting stagnant. What are you talking about? We go places. We took that helicopter tour at Tucson. Wow, I've never seen so many boats not near bodies of water. That park is all concrete. Captain Sabo! There's a dog tied Away! to our other dog. Like, bro, it's gonna be I think fire. That guy with long hair is you know a lawyer. Saying? Look at all those students running for their lives. Oh, there's the concrete park again. You know, Quagmire, I feel kind of bad leaving the family like this with Thanksgiving coming up. I mean, if I'm not dead, who's gonna carve the turkey? She's not fat. What? I, I figured the day you came home with a girl, we'd have to back it through the garage. A little further, a little further, a little further. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, all right. Now, do you prefer fatty or Miss Boombaletti? Oh. We now return to slightly too early comedy club audience member. Not like when Clinton was in the White House, huh? When Clinton was in the White House, all you needed to vote was a piece of duct tape and... <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. But things are different with the Republican majority. They're totally in the pocket of the oil companies. I mean, the President of the United States might as well be... <laughs> Amen! Why not? Why not, right? But I guess it could be worse. The other day, my wife asked me if her ass looked fat in her jeans. And I'm like, honey... Oh, no! <laughs> wow! Wow! We now return to 11 angry men and one developmentally disabled man. Okay, the vote is 11 for guilty and one for kitty. Oh. All right, let's keep talking it out. Has the jury reached its verdict? We have, Your Honor. We find the defendant, Kitty. What? And the Grammy for Biggest Posse goes to Ja Rule. What? No, Madonna. <laughs> Posse. Posse. Oh. We now return to the Sunday afternoon movie, Masturbator and Commander. Ooh, what? Captain, the enemy ship has opened fire on us. I'll be right out. Sir, what? we've already lost 10 men. Hang on. Sir, don't you think we should return fire? Yeah, yeah, go ahead and do that, and I'll, I'll meet you up there in like five minutes. Meg, Meg, I promise I'll do better at this job than I did on the SATs.
Come on. Don't miss. Awesome! I'm gonna be a famous music star like Muddy Waters! Muddy? Baby? Everything all right in there? Oh, I think I'm about to pass a kidney stone. There's no conflict in this movie. Oh. When are you gonna get rid of that stump? I've been asking you for months to get rid of that stump. I'll do it, all right? Just get off my back. She's gone. We can finally be together. But Tim, I'm rooted to the ground. We'll find a way. We'll find a way. How, how, how can but sex But boy, it's gonna be tougher than the reviews for our American cousin. Blah, 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 Lincoln assassinated, blah, 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 tragedy for our republic. Uh, oh, look, ably performed by the entire ensemble. That's us. <gasps> That's, That's all of us. Is. Randy Fulcher used to pants me every chance he got. My book report is on the giving tree. Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Randy. Nerd. <laughs> that to Randy. I think that's happened to every kid. No! That's disrespectful. Randy. That's a fight. Ow! Damn it, Peter, stop that's it! A fight. I gotta tell you, you're pissing if me I off worse than when I watched the OJ verdict with my old roommate. Someone puts them we back, the jury find the defendant, Arenthal James Simpson, not guilty. Yes. What the hell? Oh. What? Maybe we should get new roommates. Yeah, maybe we should. Oh. We now return to How I Met Your Father. Oh, Barney, I'm never gonna meet the right girl and get married. You know, Ted, don't you think it's kind of strange for a guy in his 20s to always be talking about getting married rather than getting laid? Barney, I'm in love with you. Suit up. Mother... Ah, 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 ah. And I got a job following fat you people around with a tube of... Holy shit! Cut to the next one. $60. Jeez, Brian, that's more ridiculous than the theory of why Tom Cruise runs in all his movies. Why does he run? Wow, that cameraman has nice, strong arms. Please, God. Please, God. You can't me. catch me, gay thoughts. God, he's like a totally different person. Like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Sulu. <laughs> oh, no, I never should have drank those chemicals. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I haven't misjudged someone this bad since my last physical. All right. Ah, ah. The doctor will be in in a few minutes. What type of shit? No hey. doctor in town will see you after that lawsuit. Well, and I'll just find a doctor out of town. Listen, uh, I know I'm not a regular patient, but I think I have some trouble with my prostate. So can you help me out, Dr. McCoy? What? So you can sue me too? Oh, come on. It'll only take a sec. Forget it. I'm a doctor, not a patsy. What? Hello. Mother what? Oh, I say, this is an even bigger accomplishment than getting Minnie Driver's head to fit on screen. This is how y'all okay, gonna do up. me? Further. This is how you Move go some more. What? Me. Back up some more. You don't I'm as far away me. as I can get. Okay, have her enter. Action. Damn it. Cut. <gasps> how did she get in? She must have been quieter than Britney Spears' dietitian. E easy on those trans fats. N not everything needs gravy. You know, there's some carrots down at the other end. That that cheesecake was for everyone. Oh, this is an even bigger jackpot than when the Emperor figured out the formula for great Star Wars dialogue. Something, something, something dark side. Something, something, something complete. What you've done is more horrible than sex with Sharon Stone. Oh. Wow, that was great. One minute I'm filling up at Chevron, and the next I'm having sex with Sharon Stone. Yeah, now comes the best part. <laughs> oh, man, Remember we tried to open that restaurant, and we never quite got it going. Yeah, we got shut down because of my exploding cupcakes. Mmm, I hope these taste as good as they look. Oh. <gasps> Gerald! <laughs> the secret is in the frosting, Bastards. but I'll never tell. <laughs> and lately, this family has been lacking moral fiber. Especially you, Meg. Meg, what happened to you? She can't answer you. She can't even talk. 
Ever since she started smoking pot, she just kind of lays there. It's really sad. And a tiny bit funny. Oh my god, I think I'm getting a contact high. <laughs> oh, no, I messed up too. Brian's gonna be really upset when he finds out. Eh, I'll just take him for a ride in the car. He'll forget all about it. Wait a minute. I know where we are. The park is near here. We're near the park, Lois. Oh, that's the tree. I peed on that. Hey, hey, Lois. Lois, there's another dog in that car. Hey, 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 there's another dog in that car. Hey, are you seeing that? Hey, 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 other dog. F you. Oh. Get me a beer, Brian. I am going to prepare for this as thoroughly as Ben Affleck prepares for a roll. Why? Whoa, I got to be Henry VIII in 20 minutes. Hello, 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 hello. Got it. Well, why can't she go back with my dad? Well, I can't answer that. But I'm gonna do my best to make her even happier than those kids on Three Wishes with Amy Grant. What's your wishes? wish, Billy? Can you cure my cancer? Fuck no. no. I mean... But how about if Spider-Man gives you a $50 gift card to Sears? Here, get well. It's just wrong for the military to mess with kids' minds. They're all gonna wind up in therapy like Peter was. Every time my daughter opens her mouth, I just want to punch her in the face. She's really annoying. Uh-huh. All right, let's explore that. What the hell's wrong with you? Your skin's, like, moving around or something. I believe I'm having some sort of seizure. <laughs> I know! He's a visionary. Like Gandhi or Mozart or Picasso. Ladies and gentlemen, my newest work. Now, I know this person looks a little mixed up, but watch carefully. If I move this down here, and this over here, and this part here... Anyone tell who it is yet? No? Okay, well, what if I move this here, look like a man. and this here, and it's Diane Weist. And now back to Romancing the Stone. The only way they're not going to kill my sister is if we give them the stone. Well, they're going to be looking everywhere. We'll have to hide it in my chin. Uh-oh, here they come. You better get in there, too. Oh, if I can just get her to hit me one more time, it'll give me the rush I've been looking for. Mother oh, what's next? What's next? What's next? Oh, God, I've been so bloody naughty. Oh, I need to be taught a lesson, and you're the one to do it. Oh, thank you! Thank you! We now return to Japanese girls think small versions of things are really cute. Oh, look at my tiny dog. I'm going to put it in my tiny purse. <laughs> tiny phone. You hit this estupido to eres un imbecil, de o dio! And another... What? Sorry, I fell asleep watching Sabado Gigante last night. <laughs> Chiste grande! Superstore USA has taken all my business. Mine too. In fact, the only guy in town making any money is that guy who makes tumbleweeds. Y'all laughed at me! Y'all laughed at me! Does he have to pee? Who's laughing now? Does he have to go to the bathroom? What do you think of this? That makes you attractive! Yeah! Yeah, yeah, that ho! Well, I never was very good Show at building things. Reflect. Like the time I built that handmade electric razor. I'll never By gluing tell. many razor blades to this ordinary desk fan, I'll save time in my morning routine. Excuse you? Wait, wait, hold on. Ah! Oh, oh. Lois, I done it again! I am that is God, this place me. officially sucks worse than the WNBA. And at the top of the second half, it's 16 to 9. Easton leads the scoring with four. And that's why she commands $7,000 a year. These gals sure do make it look difficult. But is having this minor skill worth being so unattractive? That's for the fan to decide. Yay! Boy, this sounds like more trouble than a moose on the interstate. Hey, can you help me out? I'm trying to get a couple of bucks for something to eat. What's moose stuff? Oh, whatever you want it to be. I could have sex with you, or I could just stand over there and drink from the lake. And everything in between. Get in. That's so hot. We now return to Sunday Golf on CBS. And Mickelson here trying to save Parr. And there's Mickelson's wife. God, is she hot. Look at that rack. There's a downhill lie for you. Oh, and they're just out there begging to be touched, pleading. How many golf balls do you think she can fit in her mouth? I'd hit that one in the rough, if you know what I'm saying. Who are you kidding, Greg? You'd pork her for a week and then get tired of her. Yeah, you're right. That's what I do. That's my thing. But a hell of a week, though. Hell of a week. <laughs> ah! Hell of a week, though! And I think I week. just hell got an idea. A much better idea than when I did magic for the blind. 
Is this your card? I don't know. Was it a red card? I don't know what red is. Ta-da! <laughs> kids, kids, kids! Shiny, gooey, stretchy, fun! Hasbro's best thing ever! Sticky, yummy, bouncy, fun! Hasbro's best thing ever! Fly it! Yeah! Toss it! Awesome! Swim it! Ah! Eat it! Whoa! Hasbro's best thing ever! Kids! Kids! Ah! It's so awesome! Ah. I want it! Ah. We now return to Superman Kids. 5, ah. The Broken Condom. What? Hey, Lois, ready to go to dinner? Yeah, sure. Just let me grab my purse. Okay, ready. Ooh, on second thought, I got something I gotta do back on Krypton. I thought Krypton was destroyed. I think we should see other people. We now return to Harrison Ford telling random people he wants his family back. I want my family back. Okay. Give me back my family. Get off me! I want my family back. We are gonna patrol the borders and keep this town as clean as a Jewish porno. I own four apartment buildings. Mm. I have central air. Oh. And a well-funded 401k. Oh, we are gonna have sex at some point. I'm good. That son of a bitch! He's a killer like Bernie gets! You know, the subway vigilante from the 80s? I, I, I used to do a bit about him back when I was doing stand-up. Ah, what else is in the news? Oh, 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 Bernie Getz. Do you, you, you hear about this? The, the, this guy, Bernie Getz, shot a bunch of muggers on the subway. Wouldn't mind having him with me next time I go see my mother-in-law. No, but really, New York City's a great place to live if you're a cockroach. You suck! I know. I got no money. I couldn't even afford to get my hair cut yesterday. That'll be five dollars. Sorry, lost my wallet. But I already cut your hair. Oh, well, guess there's nothing you can do about it now. That son of a bitch. <laughs> Brian, you have got to get Dylan under control. He's terrorizing the whole family. Yeah, you wouldn't believe what he did to Meg yesterday. He made her watch the other 178 hours of Monty Python stuff that isn't funny or memorable. I have a pet hedgehog named Zippy, and I shall walk her to town. And each time my foot hits the ground, I shall say boing! 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 I'm a girl! I don't even like the good Monty Python sketches! And I'll stick to that story even if nobody believes it. I'll tell you what nobody believes in. Ghosts! Where did Robinson Crusoe go with Friday on Saturday night? Ha! Ah, damn! Play me off, Johnny! You're probably wondering why he's in hell. Johnny liked little boys. Sounds like you need a roommate. Where'd you get that kind of money? I picked up Chris's paper route. Oh, gosh, gosh, by gosh, it's a brand new paper boy. That's a mighty full sack you're carrying. Piss off, you perverted old freak. Oh, we got a fighter. Sometimes I feel more useless than the head of the maids' union. And what exactly are your demands? We need more lemon pledge. You need more lemon pledge? Yes. We're not responsible for that. You should just bring it from your own home. No. I am going to kick him out of this house faster than NASA kicked out the Cocoa Puffs bird. Okay, your physical exam was within range. You aced the flight simulator. I guess all that's left is the psychological screening. Okay. How do you feel about this? Ah, oh my god, Cocoa Puffs. No, that's not me anymore. I'm just here to fly, sir. Coming this fall on Fox, a new reality show. Who wants to marry Corky from Life Goes On? You won't believe what happened. See, look, Maggie just walked out on you. He's a bad man, like Jody Foster. <laughs> oh, no, Jody, it's my husband. He's home from work early. Don't worry, baby. He had to find out sometime. He's a bad man. Now you're talking, man. Angela. This country yeah. needs more immigrants like my cousin Peter the Pig like needs Joey a new Foster. house. <sighs> uh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. What? I said I wouldn't do that. <sighs> I said knock it off. Why? Because I just made stool in there, and if you blow it down, the whole woods is going to stink. Do you understand? Do you understand me, sir? I had another date. You know, I'm glad you're finally putting yourself out there. Lois would have wanted you to move on. Yeah, only this one was kind of awkward. My date was a stick figure. So, 
I, how, how would this work in, in bed? Well, I can't do sex, but I can give you a stick job. That, uh, that sounds... Yes, it is very unpleasant. My parents are not gonna like this, Peter. You know, they're still angry at how you behaved at our wedding. You may now kiss the bride. Kiss her? I am gonna destroy her. But the freakiest was that date I had with Barney. Peter, you don't know how badly I need this. I don't know, Barney. It's, it's just a little weird. Joe's a friend of mine. No, it, it's okay. I promise you, it's okay. I'm not sure. It's okay, Peter. Tonight's movie presentation is brought to you by Sanka. Don't you wanna wanna Sanka? Don't you wanna wanna Sanka? Don't you wanna wanna Sanka? It doesn't keep me up at night, but it helps me poo. She ate your time. <laughs> we now return classy. to busy business lady whose life is missing something, but she doesn't realize it because she's so busy with business. No, no, I cannot make that business meeting. I've got a different business meeting at 3, and we'll be doing business there. I was wondering if you're free for coffee. Oh, no, I can't. I've got a lunch meeting, and then a meeting after lunch. After that... Shh, shh, shh. Over the next 90 minutes, I'd like to show you that all your problems can be solved by my penis. Peter, I don't think... Ryan, your objections are duly noted. Now hit the gas! You know, that would never work again in a million years. Don't need it to, Brian. I'm afraid oh. your parrot is dead. No! Did he at least die with dignity? Well, he convulsed a lot and fell off the operating table. Then he flopped around a little on the floor, and then a passing nurse accidentally stepped on him and kicked him into a puddle of urine, which must have frightened him because his bowels released all over himself. I tried to pick him up, but then I got angry because some of it got on my thumb. So I threw him against the wall, and that's where he died. That's the way I want to go. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm no different than any other guy. Joe, would you put on your hand shoes and take out the garbage? Thank you. <laughs> Put my gun down. Not until I have my husband back. Oh, my perfect ass. Oh, I'm sorry, Joe. I was aiming for your spine. Oh, damn it. Joe, I'm so sorry. I'm a terrible shot. For God's sakes, just give me the gun. I'll do it myself. She's been killed. Oh. Why haven't you sent for help? But she said she never wants to see me again. Well, I'm sure you can come up with some Everyone excuse to see her at the no, vet. No, no. Is there any more coffee? Motherfucker! Anna, I'm here with my dog. He's not feeling well. Fuck you. Hey guys, I wrote a song. Oh, that's great. Oh, good, Ringo. Fantastic. You know what? I'm gonna put it right here. Right on the refrigerator. That way we'll get to see it every day. All right. How much you pay for that fake mustache? $2.99. Oh! 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 oh. Listen, you just gotta give me more time. Ah. Everybody, I got bad news. We've been canceled. Oh, no. Peter, how could they do that? Well, unfortunately, Lois, there's just no more room on the schedule. We've just got to accept the fact that Fox has to make room for terrific shows like Dark Angel, Titus, Undeclared, Action... That 80s show. Oh, this is my favorite event. Catch the greased up deaf guy. Go! You're never gonna catch me. You're wasting your time. Do we get money for you? Go do something else. Stay on that deal. Who's gonna feed me and protect me from the evil monkey in my closet? Now, Chris, you know there's no such thing. No! <laughs> You know, I've never seen any of his in real life, like, performances. Thank you. I couldn't American see. Embassy, I, I couldn't even Cedric the Entertainer, The Tick, Louie, and Greg the Bunny. Is there no hope? Well, I suppose if all those shows go down the tubes, we might have a shot. Peter, why is there a diaper in the lamp socket? Oh, Lewis, he's done it again! Wait a minute. Ha! Spopo! Oh, don't be 
say it, Peter. That's why they call it Spoopo. Oh. I do that on... I, I only do this with my phone. <laughs> Look at all Only text and drive, children. You can't eat never, all never read and drive. Oh, see? Now, if he had his phone, he'd still be able to see the road. Now, you got to text and drive. Don't read and drive. Uh, he's going to do it. Oh, he's so ridiculous. You hear me, you ridiculous man. You're... Whoa! Ah! Hey, Stewie. peek a -boo. Yes, I see you, fat man. <gasps> Where's Daddy? What? Where did you go? Oh, this is impossible. I, I, I can hear you, but I can't see... Really, must really be gone. Peekaboo! Ah! How the hell did you do that? Look, I thought you disappeared, otherwise I wouldn't have picked my... Oh, great, leave when I'm right in the middle of a sentence. Peter, what the hell is wrong with you? I fall asleep for ten minutes and you plow the car into a tree? Oh, my God, you gotta pay attention to the road. We could have been killed. I mean, look at the front of our car. It's totaled. It's completely totaled, Peter. Oh, this is just this, terrific. This, I get... oh, this is what God. you do. I knew I should have driven. I should always drive. I cannot trust you, Peter Griffin. If I remember correctly, this is the physics department. That explains all the gravity. You taped over our wedding video? Relax, Lois. I just taped over the boring stuff. The couple has written their own vows, which they will now recite to each other. Peter, I... Look, yep, the only reason is. I got That's myself arrested was to find out what happened to my sister. Excuse me, ladies. It's laundry time. Yeah, that's... Yeah, we like that. It's so cold in here. Yeah, we like that. I mean, look at my... Oh. I swear, sometimes I feel like I'm married to a child. Ew. What can I say about my beautiful bride except milk, milk, lemonade around the corner fudge is made? <laughs> this nigga. You better watch who you're calling a child, Lois. Because if I'm a child, then you know what that makes you? A pedophile. And I'll be damned <laughs> if I'm going to stand here and be lectured by a pervert. Oh, that's smart. I'm going to use that this on a woman. This wedding is hot. Wake up, damn it. Wake up. No. You know what Joe said the street value of that cocaine would have been? Uh, let's see, four and a half kilos uncut Nicaraguan, uh, 1.7 mil, that area? Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's right. All right, I'm ready, come on, good game, good game, everybody, yeah, come on, good like game, this. let's get out here, let's that. do it, yeah, yeah, I had to do this to me like three I months ago, say, bro, I, I never talked to you. I do feel a strange either. satisfaction oh. watching the black ball topple all those self-righteous white pins. Can't blame them for being self-righteous, the black ball's in their neighborhood uninvited. The black ball's done nothing wrong. If the black ball's innocent, it has nothing to fear. Hey, Doc, you have to keep those two boxes right next to each other. Why? What do they say? I think we're through here. Yeah! Damn it, Griffin! I said no showboating! This calls for a victory tune! Now, a woman who kiss on the very first date is usually a hussy. And a woman who kiss on the second time out is anything but fussy. But a woman who wait till the third time around, head in the clouds, feet on the ground, she's the girl he's glad he's found. She's his shaboopy. No, on your marks, no, she's not. get set. White guys, go! I have high hopes for this. Now I had start... a cliff bar before we started. Everybody else! <gasps> Phew, I thought they were coming after us. I still and think they're coming after us. you can always be proud us. of your father and all of his accomplishments. What accomplishments? Go to your room. Yeah, and I hope for your sake, the cake's better than the last party room. I went to. Go to your room. Oh, God! Coconut! A griffin never knows when to stop. Clear! Clear. Oh, you, you saved my life, Doctor. Clear. All right, I made a touchdown. Oh, now there are plenty of people who have had worse days. Oh, Hiroshima. a parking ticket. I was gone five minutes. This is not that bad. Oh, How that's, could this that, day get sucks. any worse? I mean... Oh. My. God. I have never seen... Um, uh, um, excuse um, me, it's been brought to my attention that a few guy. bad apples out there are smoking marijuana. Uh, I've got news for you, my friend. Marijuana's illegal, not cool. All right, then. Establishment, establishment. You always know what's best. You suck! Learn the rules! I need some Learn the rules! What are you talking about? Your life is pretty exciting. <laughs> For example. Oh. There you go. Yep. Good night. Oh, one in excitement. There you go, bitch. Huh? Hey, hey. I hope you get a girl. There you go, ho. Really? 
You, you think you could do that? Sure. Absolutely All we gotta do not. is get you a little fixed up. You know, get your hair cut, give you good clean... Ah! Shave, maybe some cologne, the chicks will be all over you. Go on, buds, drink my suds, till you've reached that pure inebriation, though the beer may be free, you're just renting it from me. You think the language in the Second Amendment is clear enough? You know, about the right to bear arms? Of course it's clear. Every American has the right to hang a pair of bear arms on their wall. How could that possibly be misconstrued? Welcome oh, to the Silly Nannies. Birds. I'm the quarterback, Three. Leslie. My this sons. is our team. Hell no! Hell no! Man, I don't promise Sir, I need shit. another dollar twenty-five. Is that right? Shit. Keep oh. the change. Roadhouse. I say, Jenkins, you give me that dirty look one more time and I have a good mind to get into my PJs and have a pillow fight with you. Yeah, Very well, then. No. On guard. I, 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 you. I like your gal. I like yours. In a moment, we will yeah. use the special lights to see just how filthy this seemingly clean hotel room really is. <laughs> Cock everywhere. Fuck my first bike. Boy, I had so much fun playing with that. More tea, Mr. Bike? It's like I died and went to heaven. But, but then they realized that it wasn't my time, and so they sent me back to a brewery. As it turns out, the lump on your chest was just a fatty corpuscle. Fatty corpuscle? Wait a minute. How the hell can a dead comedian from the silent movie era be lodged in my left bosom? Mr. Griffin, I'm saying you're fine. I'm fine? What, are you coming on to me now? Peter, he's not coming on to you. He's trying to tell you that you're healthy. Can it be both? Can it be both? Wow, Brian, have you lost weight? You gotta tell me your secret. Here's a hint. Put down the fork! Face! Me and Lois's oh. old man have never gotten along. Hey, I got an email from Mr. Pewterschmidt. <laughs> Sorry, Wonder Woman, I got three kings. Now let's see your pair. <sighs> All right. Wait, hey, Robin, what are you looking at me for? Look at her. I'm going out for a little while. Hey, wait, wait. You can't tell anyone I'm here. For if humanity discovers I'm no longer lurking in the shadows, the consequences will be dire. Go on. That's it. What the hell do you see in him? Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing yeah, tube man. Hi, I'm it. Al Harrington, president and CEO of Al Harrington's wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man emporium and warehouse. Thanks to a shipping error, I am now currently overstocked on wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube men, and I am passing the savings on to you. Lois, I'm scared. Oh, I'll get that. Hey! Oh! Oh, no, 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 Dave. Sorry. Oh! oh, God. Well, I really admired the mother character's admission of personal torment after her daughter's death. I, I disagree. I felt a total lack of ethical integrity in her readiness to abandon her children and start a life of her own. Uh, here's another thing. The book can also be... a hat. You know, that really grinds my gears. Where exactly in the Bible does it say a man can't fire off some knuckle children in the privacy of his own neighbor's living room while his neighbor's at work because I don't have a DVD player? Everywhere. Well, I don't know where it says it because the Bible is way too long to read. That's what we call a manatee, boys. Or in nautical slang, the sea cow. Where is it? Keep looking. I can't find it anywhere. Keep looking. Uh, there's nothing but a fish tail down there. Keep looking. Oh, there we go. That's not it. It's gonna be. Lois, undecided. Hey, getting some writing done there, buddy? Yeah, setting up in public so everybody can watch me type my big screenplay. Me too. All real writers need to be seen writing. Otherwise, what's the point, right? You should totally write that down. Okay, will you watch me? I like the answer. Go look at a Michael Jackson Something concert. Something about two gay people getting married. I, I just don't think it's right. No, only well, these questions are too big to be decided by human beings. Only lesbians. Which is why God made this film. Me. So, uh, what's your favorite Madonna album? I like her early work. If his answer is anything but, I've never bought one, you've got a gay. That's true! Let's take That's a blood real. sample, Mr. Braga. If instead of human blood, you find a deadly corrosive acid, you've got a gay. I don't know about that one. Well, that one's true. 
Not this time, Nancy boy. How does it feel to have the lake back? Well, I'll tell you, Tricia, as a local resident, I feel like I can once again take pride in my community. I think this is really going to revitalize tourism, man. <laughs> And if you look around, I think even the wildlife is starting to come back. And, you know, that's something we haven't seen in a while. I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of that. I never slept with a woman with the lights on. I'll go next. Uh, I never had sex with Cleveland's wife. Uh, all right, let's see. Uh, I never did a chick in a Logan Airport bathroom. Mr. Weed, I uh, was wondering if maybe you'd like to come over to my house for dinner Friday night. Huh, that no. wasn't so hard. Well, what time? Uh, I don't know, 7.30, 8. No. Mom, I Never can't buy a man my jacket. over to dinner. <laughs> no. Peter, take off that belt! The buckle smells like acid! <laughs> oh! Oh! What are you doing? When did you get pregnant? Lois finds out I'm ditching her to play golf, she'll hit me with a frying pan. Which is why I'm gonna drink this frying pan antidote. <laughs> All right, hit me with this. <laughs> Didn't work. Hooray, I'm mayor again! Don't we need to have a whole new election? There. Now no one will have heard him say that. We all heard him say it. Ah! Anybody else hear anything? My wife did. <laughs> God, let's see, what else is there? Um, I never gave a reach around to a spider monkey while reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. Oh, Everybody God! I, uh, I never picked up an illegal alien at Home Depot to take home and choke me while I touched myself. Oh, come on! Uh, I never did the same thing, but with someone from Joanne Fabrics. Oh, God, this is ridiculous! I just hope his teen years go better than mine. Boy, talk about awkward. Oh, baby. Oh, oh Sandy. Oh, yeah. Oh, Sandy. Yeah. Oh. Sandy? Oh, not again. I'm gonna be a virgin forever. Or am I? Sunday's my internet porn night. Oh, yeah. You're my Chinese Lois. Oh. Thanks, honey. Say hi to your husband. Oh, I got AIDS again. Better take my NyQuil cold flu and AIDS. All gone. Stand up, all fat men. Stand up straight. Stand up because no chair can hold your weight. Oh. If God created us to be so big, that's proof he must be a big fat pig. My God, is that Meg? 36D, Brian. And you know what's amazing? In this universe, she's still one of the ugly ones. If you saw Lois, your penis would shoot right off your body. That'll be twenty-seven fifty. Ah! Right, this is painful. It's like listening to those two foreign guys down at the coffee shop who've been living in the U.S. almost long enough to sound American. Oh, man. What a good bunch of partying at that discotheque. They played one of my audience requests. Way awesome. I myself drank like five liters of beer. Any more and I would have ended up in hospital, man. Oh, you said it, friend. But I wanted to stay, because I almost had sex on this girl. Oh, yeah, but it was so expensive. Each drink was like $6.40. It seems we're in a universe where everything is drawn by Disney. Look, there's our house. <laughs> Look how gaily we run. All right, Joe, let's lose the you wheelchair and shoot this thing. Peter, I can't lose the wheelchair. I need it to move. Okay, yeah, but your character can walk. Peter, I'm handicapped. I can't walk. Okay, Chris, roll film and action. Joe, get out of the damn chair. Chris, get the cattle prod. <laughs> okay, now give him some peanut butter so we can make it look like he's talking. Now let's grip it and rip it. The Fed is going to be lowering rates, so get your money out of T-bills and put it all into waffles. Tasty waffles with lots of syrup. Waffles! Buy waffles! 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 Speed 3, Glacier of Doom. If this glacier goes slower than one mile a year, we're all dead! 
Tell me something I don't know! Get out of the way! <laughs> One day, Vegeta went swimming too soon after eating a sandwich, yep, Vegeta. and this happened. Help! Help! I'm drowning! <laughs> help! We gotta get this woman to surgery time! Right stat now! But it was too late, and she died from a rotten vagina. Finn. Wow, that was the worst piece of crap I've ever seen. Well, Rudolph, we finally figured out what makes your nose red. Is it pixie dust or, or leprechaun tails? No, it's a tumor. You mean like a magical Christmas tumor? No, a malignant tumor, the base of which is lodged deep within your brain. Oh. Like a happy special... You're going to die. Oh. So this is where babies come from? Yes, Chris, this is where babies come from. You told me I came out of your vagina. The lies. <laughs> Maybe you don't have to pee. Hey, I ought to just give you some beer. It goes right through you. Wonderful. And while we're at it, we can light up a doobie and watch porn. It, yeah? Ah! So, how's that leg doing? Uh, great, great. Never better. Good. Why don't you try putting some weight on it? Uh, sure. Yes, yes. Oh, that's good. That feels good. Very strong. Sorry, Thunder. I gotta put you down. Huh? How's your leg? You ready to race? Huh? Butt scratcher! Butt scratcher! Can't you butt scratcher here? Butt scratcher! Butt scratcher! Butt scratcher! Butt scratcher! Butt scratcher! Butt scratcher! Oh, Stewie and Brian, you're just in time for pie. Did somebody say pie? The New Yorker. I bet Lois's dad reads this. I'd be more apathetic if I weren't so lethargic. Yeah, that's not... He would care more about people if he wasn't so full. And uh, he has an itis, pretty much. Pretty sure that's what that means. Oh, I get it. That, that's kind of funny. Yeah, can I have a copy of Jugs? It is not funny. Joe, you got this all wrong. Like God did when he made Rosie O'Donnell. You can't put a vagina on this man. Why not? I'm God. Well, what do you want to do about the breasts? Uh, take a couple out of the bin we can't find matches for. Uh, Joe, you are going to be happier than bullfrogs on vacation in Ethiopia. Oh, this is fantastic. This is even better than they said it was in the brochure. Oh, yeah, I feel like a pig, but come on, we're on vacation. Exactly. Right. Don't hate yeah. yourself. We're on vacation, exactly. right? Yeah, I hear Madonna's raising this guy's kid. Oh. Are you serious? We come to a mansion and you want to live with the help? Ugh, that's like going to a strip club on a Tuesday afternoon. Is there anyone here who hasn't had a C-section? No. This party's no. worse than a Mexican funeral. Oh. Es con mucho dolor que digamos adiós a Javier, y Pepe, y Carlos, y Lupe, y otra Lupe. Salvador, Fabian, Jesus, Maria, Vincente, and los perros de Vincente. I don't know how to tell you this, but you weren't born in America. You were born in Mexico. What? When oh, I found Mexican. out that your real father was a drunken Irishman, I went to Mexico to terminate my pregnancy. So she could get pregnant again. But God had other plans, and you were born right there. Terrifying. You were so beautiful, and I loved you. I'm free now. I've got my own place, no attachments. There you are. That's just the kind of can-do spirit that built this nation. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. Except the Jews. Franklin, for the fifth time, I'm sorry you overpaid for your house, but it's not going in. I'm ah. sorry. Noted. Moving <coughs> on. You know, he wrote all those Kentucky Fried Chicken jingles. I don't care for them. Not after what happened to Foghorn Leghorn. I say, I say, son, what, what do we got brewing in here? I was walking by when I picked up the smell of 11 herbs and spice. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that boy, running all around like a chicken with his head cut. Wait a minute. Well, by God, Brian, we're murderers. I guess this means you'll be going to doggy hell. <laughs> That's right. I haven't been this disappointed since I saw the lake house.
See, the mailbox is like a time portal. Everything Keanu Reeves puts in there, Sandra Bullock gets two years later. Oh, my Hickory Farms package is here. Penis. Mr. Superman, no here. Uh, well, we're looking for a missing... I know. Mr. Superman, he, he no is here. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, can you just give him this flyer? I no, No. I have no money. Just take this flyer, and if you see this baby... No, no. Oh. Yeah, that's a great achievement. Just like the first chemotherapy patient to figure out the handkerchief look. Honey? Get in here! What is it? Just, just get in here! What? Oh my god! Right? It's like you don't, don't even, even have, have cancer. cancer! I know! Oh my god! <laughs> is that how Will Smith No, but with? I still have pretty aggressive cancer. Jada Pinkett? We now return to Damn Nature, You Scary on BET. Damn, look at that bitch go! He hauling ass! That thing come by my house, I kill it! <laughs> that little rat looking thing just got ate! Damn, Nature, you scary. Damn, Nature. Hey, now, why would you do that? Because Speedy Gonzalez is an immigrant and a bad influence on our children. So I created his American equivalent, Rapid Dave. Rapid. I got you now, Mouse. Yeah? Well, up yours, cat. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Run fast, run fast, quickly. I hate shows that cut away from the story for some bull crap. <laughs> Ah, uh, now see, that's an even more beautiful sight than 72 virgins waiting in heaven for a suicide bomber. I've been with virgins Here before, bro. It's not worth it. We're playing Magic not the Gathering. It, Wanna join? Osama! Boys, there's only one answer. We gotta re-cripple Joe. It's the Six right thing weeks. to do, like taking out Hitler. <laughs> uh, Ooh. See, we had a plan for that all along. Shit. Well, I think you've been wonderful. Like when you took her to that new movie, I'm rich and you're poor, but let's dance together. I'm rich and you're poor, but let's dance together. Society won't like it. I don't care. Good for you. Good for you. Boy, great party, huh, Fred? Yeah. You know, Bon, I figured I ought to tell you this. I was walking by your house the other day, and uh, I poked my head in the window, and Betty was undressing. Well, she saw me there, but she didn't stop. What? She didn't stop. I mean, she saw me there looking at her, and she kept undressing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you serious? Yeah, I got an erection. Never tell no a guy. No more will I treat that. you like some kind of alien. I will. Three minutes to minimum safe distance. Stop. Not so fast, y'all. You think you can just up and run away? You crazy. I like to eat people from other planets. Especially y'all. I like to eat you with my little mouth, too. Oh, now y'all get back up inside me, little mouth. I wants to play, too. Get back inside. I'll get you when we's eating them. <laughs> and you'll be cooler than a mid-80s novelty answering machine message. I'm glad you called, but I'm not home. But I'll be back before too long. You gotta wait for the beep. You gotta leave your name. You gotta leave your number. Wait for the beep. <laughs> it's me again. I just had to hear it one more time. Mm -hmm. And now back to One Tree Hill. Dude, let me tell you something. There is nothing that'll ever happen in the rest of our lives that's as important as what's going on right here, right now, in high school by these lockers. I've got so many problems. Hey, nothing that can't be fixed by staring at a lake. High school is such a serious thing. These problems matter. Great. This is a bigger waste of time than Ringo's songwriting. Hey guys, I wrote a song. Oh, that's great. Oh, good, Ringo. Fantastic. You know what? I'm gonna put it right here. Right on the refrigerator. That way we'll get to see it every day. All right. Yeah, she looks worse than Andy Garcia when he had his conjoined twin. I had a great time with you tonight. You're really amazing. Thanks, Andy. I had a great time, too. Hey! How about some love for Shoulder Guy over here? Please don't. <sighs> Shoulder Guy wants to get in on this. Just ignore him. Okay. 
So, do you maybe want to go in the other room? Sure. Sounds good. Oh, and show the guys going with you. Rick, shut up. I hey, bitch, want to suck on my tooth? I'd have killed him. I'm Goodbye, Tim Man. Goodbye, Dorothy. You ain't gonna ruin vagina for me, Goodbye, bro. I don't Lion. care what Goodbye, you Goodbye, Dorothy. And I think I'll miss you most of all, Scarecrow. I'd have to cut off some of my homeboys oh, like that. Okay. It's kind of an odd thing to say. Yeah, sort of a weird comment right in front of all of us. Kind of thought this oh. was a team effort. Yeah, yeah. Really, really glad I risked my life and everything. Yeah. It's... You're like five minutes from gone and you leave with that? Yeah. You know, that's like cutting a huge fart and then walking out of the room. And that's how we'll remember you as a big fart. Goodbye, big fart. I've screwed up worse than Disney did when they cast Michael J. Fox in that Zorro remake. Who was that masked man who saved us? I don't know, but he left his insignia. <laughs> and I can't rent movies anymore. Uh, yes, I'd like to rent this copy of Garden State. Okay, I'll just need a picture ID. Oh, I don't have one. I'll rent it then. Oh. <laughs> it could have been me. What the hell is Garden State? This Tuesday on Lifetime, Valerie Bertinelli stars in a Lifetime original movie. You know, Doctor, you said you were going to cure my cancer, but all you did was rape me. I'm starting to think I don't have cancer at all. Well, you're right about the rape part, but I'm sorry, you still do have cancer. <laughs> yep, now take off your clothes again. Valerie Bertinelli in Men Are Terrible and Will Hurt You Because This Is Lifetime. Now take off your What do you dress? want your alias to be? Shit. What are you talking about? I'm not gonna go- Get your name for yourself! Willem Dafoe. Ugh, not that one. I used to have a Willem Dafoe living under my bed. Hey, you asleep yet? Uh, no. Just checking. Oh, what are you waiting for me to be asleep for? Better not be butt stuff. I never realized until now how much I've taken her for granted. I mean, she's my only daughter and I- feel like I've never treated her as well as I should have. Hey, Meg, you got something on your shirt. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Oh. We now return to Sunday Golf on CBS. And Mickelson here trying to save Parr. And there's Mickelson's wife. God, is she hot. Look at that rack. There's a downhill lie for you. That's oh, a rack, they're just bro. out there begging to be touched, pleading. How many golf balls do you think she can fit in her mouth? I'd hit that one in the rough if About you know what seven. I'm saying. Who are you kidding, Greg? You'd pork her for a week and then get tired of her. Yeah, you're right. That's what I do. That's my thing. But a hell of a week, though. Hell yeah, of a week. Hell of a week. <laughs> I think I just got an idea. A much better idea than when I did magic for the blind. Hell of a week, though. Yeah, hell of a week. Is this your card? I, I don't do know. Was it a red card? I don't know what red is. Ta-da! Kids, kids, kids! Shiny, gooey, stretchy, fun! Hasbro's best thing ever! Sticky, yummy, bouncy, fun! Hasbro's best thing ever! Fly it! Yeah! Toss it! Awesome! Swim it! Ah! Eat it! Whoa! Hasbro's best thing ever! Kids! Kids! Ah! It's so awesome! I want it! Kids! Kids! Ah! Play our cards right, it could be bigger than the Apollo Theater. All right, now, next up, we got the comedy stylings of Kim Lee Sung. Give it up. How you doing tonight? So you ever notice when two black guys come in your convenience store and one go one way and one go the other way? What they doing? What they stealing? Who with me? Yeah. I'll keep you it real. You stay out my store. All you stay out my store. I remember you face. I used to be stealing out of stores. I shouldn't have stayed up all night listening to Persian radio. Hey, that was Roxette with You've Got the Look. It's 21 o'clock and still 27 centigrade out there. Hook, that's hot. So, if you're cruising along the left side of the road at 120 kilometers per hour in the Shevi Desert, turn up the decibels, because it's Shalev Mami with Zechech Malech on 103.2, the Hach. Damn. Ooh, Horton hears domestic violence in the next apartment and doesn't call 911. Yep. You think yeah, it's easy you... working all day? No. You I... think I like it? I don't think it's easy, but yes, I do think you like no, it. No, I, yeah, I like being away from you because I can't stand looking at you. You can't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You think I want to do that? You think I want to hurt you? Not in front I don't of me. I don't want to hurt you. you I'm sure there's two sides you to this. Make me yeah, we're not complete without Joe. You remember when he bailed on us for that trip to the spa and we had to find another handicapped guy? God, Seamus, I've, uh, 
Never seen you this naked. Ah, it's good to let the old midsection breathe. What, uh... How the hell are you alive? I don't think you realize the danger. Like the people who think it's okay to bring shampoo on an airplane. So I told Brenda, I work hard, I like a clean house when I come home. And now I'm the bad guy. Oh, I know exactly where you're coming. Ow, it's in my eyes! We now return to The Hills. Justin Bobby was supposed to be here already. Are you still going out with him? I guess so. I hate how he pushes his bangs out of his face with every word he says. Um, order me a beer. I have to find a spot for my motorcycle. Well, believe it or not, I pop in every hundred years or so. Kind of incognito, just to get away from the family. Plus, the timing seemed good, because my dad just quit smoking, and he's a little on edge. Who took my checkbook? Ellen? Why is there a pen cap and no pen? Oh. There's no way I can compete against those other kids. It's like trying to beat Spoopel champion Fjord Vanderplug at a game of Spoopel. Spoopel! Oh, don't be sad, Peter. That's why they call it Spoopel. We now return to Jackass. Hello, my name's Johnny Knoxville, and I'm gonna take a shotgun blast to the face. Okay, ready? <laughs> God damn! I just hope Dad doesn't embarrass us like he did when that one-legged guy came over. All right, well, if you like movie trivia, I got one that'll stump you. Uh, of course, you're probably not really into tibia trivia. Oh! Uh, Boy, that global warming, huh? They say we lost a foot of snow last winter. Hey, how about another beer, huh? I bet you like the taste of hops. Uh, you only have one leg, sir. Absolutely. This world needs you, Jesus. It needs you like a guy who can't get it up needs a distraction. Mm. I am so ready to have sex with you. Oh, hey, is that my phone? I don't hear anything. Is that John Aston? I don't see anyone out there. Oh. Well, now there's so much going on. Ah! This is perfect, Lois. We'll expose Loretta for who she is. Just like Cyrano was exposed for being anti-Semitic. I love you for all that you are. In spite of the fact that your people control a disproportionate amount of the world's wealth and in all likelihood are probably responsible for starting every major war since the dawn of time. Dude, again with this? What's your problem? Who's in the bush? Mind your own business, you stupid Jew. Oh. Oh, man, this toothpick is the best. I'm not going anywhere without it. Like Batman and his futility belt. I oh. can't get these locks open. Don't you have something in your belt? You do. Oh, yeah, maybe. Let's see. I have some hockey trading cards, oh. a post-it with some hair stuck to the what? edge. Something that might be a roll aid. I don't know. It's just loose. Hurry, it's getting closer. Ah! I have some stamps. Ah! 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 Oh, you know what? It's a cert. Ah! Peter, what are you doing on the waterfront? Well, now that I'm a toothpick guy, I like to hang out on the docks and look for boxes to train. Hey, kid, you think you got what it takes? For what? I, I don't That's know. A cert. Probably not. I hang out at the docks. Oh, yeah. He's it's got the fire in his belly. <laughs> oh. Okay, now remember everything I told you. You didn't tell me anything. We just yeah. met 20 minutes ago. Hey, yeah. hey, you and me and this toothpick have come too far to turn back now. Too far. You get in there and you be loose. Real uh -oh. dirty. <laughs> yep, there it is. Hey, kid, Every you think time. you got what it takes? Sir, please. This man has minutes to live. Oh, yeah, he's got the fire in his belly. Usually people no get mad way. if you're Our that friendship fast. is over forever. Quagmire is dead kids. to me, uh, like an Irish secret minutes. agent. It is done then. Let us drink on it. Oh. 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 <coughs> what, what happened? Any last words, Agent Double O'Reilly? Can I get one more? Can I get a more bloken? <laughs> wow, that was awkward. Like a stranger trying to make conversation. I'm not trying to die. Long before. line, huh? There's two of us. Reminds me of that Steinfeld episode. No sauce for you, <laughs> right? Never we seen missed Steinfeld. both of them. I, I can't believe that. that show's still on. It's not. I really like that Julia Richard Dreyfus, though. Ugh. Mr. Sanders, thank you for waiting. Here's the medicine for your brain injury. 
Oh, yeah. now I feel bad. I've had that happen to me before. Hello? Dad, Grandpa burned us with a curling iron so we're at Farrell's ice cream. Would you come get us? I can't understand you. Stop calling me. Stupid foreigners. Oh. Oh, that's the other good news. Bud's not leaving. You're I told him he could move in with me happens. and Bonnie. What? Peter, this is crazy. Yep. Oh, wait, you're right. I did it wrong. Oh. All right, Lois. When Peter decided he was going next door to live with Joe's dad, his wife was blank. All furious. right, Lois. Lois said furious. Let's see what the panel Come says. On, Robert down. Reed, what do you have? Her AIDS. Throat if she's Brett Summers? Uh, Cancer. No. Charles Nelson Riley? Cancer. Cancer. Probably from AIDS. <laughs> oh, Charles, <laughs> you old Papa Jay. You not Papa Jay or who? Poppin Our mattress what? still has the chalk outline from where my Uncle Leonard got killed by his third wife. Was she poured boiling on? grits on his privates and then shot him. You sleep on that? Well, I flipped it over. We'll never outrun Hookhand! We don't have to outrun Hookhand, we just have to outrun Joe. Oh. Crap, Joe's got the keys! Why does he always hold the keys? Because he knows we always leave him behind. Oh. That's genuinely scary. I have a double foam latte for Professor Griffin. Uh, that's me. You're yeah. gross. Either get it right, or I'm Don't stealing be so all hard your on yourself, packets. Peter. Your life's not over yet. Come Don't on, you play it's not with like me. I can go back to school at my age. I'll never be a doctor. I'll send you to the stay best I can hope for is a male horny. nurse who's probably killing all his patients. Well, uh -oh. I'm going home. Griffin, you have another eight hours on your shift. Now, what about your patients? They all died with dignity. God bless them. Crap. <laughs> But first, sad news from the Quahog Zoo as a baby panda on loan from China is undergoing emergency treatment for what appears to be tater tot poisoning. The Chinese tater ambassador was quoted as saying, Ooh, tiger mom, egg foo young, practice your piano math. I don't know, probably not that. Racism. Racism, maybe. You're watching Vanity Fair magazine, the television show. The show where we read Vanity Fair magazine to you. Garbage. <laughs> Garbage again. Garbage. 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 Extra garbage. Garbage. Somehow more garbage than last time. Garbage. There's no nudes in here. Table of contents. It's a long oh, joke. Oh, God. Poor Dad. I know. She's humiliating him. Yeah, and everyone's just standing around doing nothing. Like the whole world during the Holocaust. We Too all cruel. know people only help women Never when again. they're in trouble. No one okay, now we've earned trouble. this gag about an anti-Semitic pigeon. Ugh, my allergies. And everything else. Just terrible. Oh. All right, let's go. What should we leave for a tip? The food and service were both great. Give them the full 3%. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Cheap, cheap. Hey. Hey, this is why I hate bill going outside. Was <laughs> that okay. was hilarious. Now left $6. And again, the global community's inaction right. during the Holocaust was unforgivable. 3% is generous. $6 right, is a down, lot of money PP. to some people. Don't get your nipples in a twist. Hey, what the you hell check is your privilege. Ah! Big, big <laughs> oh my soda having the broad Are you wearing a bra right now? That's my business. You man. Peter, built sit this. down. You're making a scene. It is built like an off season football player. Come on to the, oh my god, the sound effects. Damn, you have to kill her. All right, Jeez. Peter, your sister's the real deal. So if you're going to take her on, we're going to have to teach you how to wrestle. Are you going to take that so on? Come on, come at me. If you go, come which on. means if you're going to take her for? on, no, Joe, you better no, shoot I'm, I'm not this doing this. What are you, chicken? To come on, I'm right here. Bring it, Chubbs. Joe, I, I, I really don't feel comfortable. I'm right here, sissy boy. Come on. <sighs> Come on, he's still gonna pin me. Joe, you're laying on your back on the mat. I'm pin not, me! I'm not pinning any, I'm not. One, two, three. What are you doing? A pin's not to three, it's to 25. What? No, it's to three. You're it's to, to 25. To nope. <sighs> Four, five. From one. One, two, three. I'm gonna get out of this. Nope. You're having this sex group that needs point. quagmire. Just like an Asian man needs facial hair to be taken seriously. I'm sorry, we're out of orange chicken. I don't believe you. He's right. We ran out two hours ago. You, I believe. That's real. <laughs> it's going to be so refreshing <laughs> to do something different <laughs> and creative. Really? Yeah. What about being a pilot? Yeah. It's just not a challenge anymore. These days, the autopilot does everything. Can I get you anything, Captain?
You can get me some of this, toots. Uh. Ah. Okay, I guess I'll just sit here and read a fucking magazine. What? Is that the right Drugging a that? baby? My god, that's a worse idea than letting Bono pick oh, out his own glasses. No, no, no. I need something way more ridiculous. Something that a cartoon villain would wear. Well, I do have some horn rims. Look, you're not hearing me. I need my glasses to look like something either not yet invented or from an ancient Egyptian tomb. And if possible, they should look as though they cost a million dollars, but also came free in a box of cereal. <laughs> Perhaps I can be of help, Mr. Bono. You have somewhat of a square face, so to offset that, I recommend these frames, made for an intergalactic homosexual. Motherfu oh my god, what the fuck are you, Cyclops? Do you zesty Cyclops, nigga? Uh, okay, this mince pie is about Professor ready to go. Professor X would, would not. Of cinnamon. Would and while we're like at it, how about we take this cinnamon challenge? Okay, Peter, we've all seen the internet videos. You take a spoonful of cinnamon and try not to cough it up. No, no, no. The cinnamon challenge is where you try to sleep with a stripper named Cinnamon and then try not to get jumped and robbed by her accomplices. Yeah, I've taken that challenge. I lost the cinnamon challenge. I've actually done good on the cinnamon Of course I would. We've been buddies for a long time. Like John Favreau and Vince Vaughn. All right. That's all the stake in the country. See? We could still do stuff. As mayor of Quahog, I hereby sign into law the legalization of marijuana. Good evening, everyone. Our top story, marijuana is now legal. Le le is now legal. Legal in Quahog. And it's made everything just so great. Okay, you you can read the next one. <laughs> no, you can't. No, you. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's let's read it both together. Okay. Ready? Okay. Here's, Here's Ollie, Ollie Williams, Williams with a blacky weather, weather forecast. forecast. How's the weather look, Ollie? Not too bad. Right on. <laughs> See, Lois, tell me things in Quahog aren't better <laughs> now. It's just weird, Brian. I still don't think I'm comfortable with the whole idea. Look, Lois, ever since marijuana was legalized, crime has gone down, productivity is up, and ratings for Doctor Who are through the roof. Yeah, but Peter's so baked lately, he can hardly set up a cutaway. Man, this is even better than... Uh, th no, wait. No, this is worse than... Uh, better... I don't know. Devin, do you have a cigarette? Sure. And here's a copy of my last movie. It's essentially Brokeback Mountain from the point of view of the horses. Come on, yo. Hey, the sun's been up for an hour. Shouldn't we get riding? Uh, are they still sleeping? Oh, no, I'll check. Come on, bro. Ah! Help! What? Ah! What? What? Run! What is it? Oh, my God! What? Oh, my God! Ah! Run! We now return to Cutting in Line in Front of Italians. Hey! Oh! Hey! Copernicus, why don't you navigate yourself to the back of the line with your feet and stand there with your shirt? Oh, Stewie, it's wonderful. This is going right up on the fridge. Really? The fridge? It's like we have a little Michelangelo in the house. Okay, see you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> I almost lost it when you said to put it on the fridge. I know. I mean, what the hell is it supposed to be, a pelican or a school bus? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Muhammad Ali drew this. <laughs> what, what a dumbass. <laughs> hey, let's spit on it. <laughs> oh. Well, we're not the first people to be dragged off against our will. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? Damn it, I swear to God, I will turn this ship around. That works. Okay. Can we teach us a lesson? Yeah, that's yeah. even better. All right, that if that's what you... Wait a minute! Come on, bro. Like that. And now back to Roundtable with Al Michaels, Harold Ramis, Ray Romano, and Kermit Round the Frog. The These zoning laws are infringing oh, on the rights uh, of citizens. If I might interrupt for a minute, I'd like to point You've out You've had that your time. Let someone else I speak. haven't said a word. It was that guy. Don't look at me. I can't get a word in edgewise. Well, then who the hell's been talking this whole time? Oh, well, that's a hard question. Forget it. I've missed too many other opportunities. There he is. Took you long enough. Just what we need. Hey, guys, I'm coming in. Ah, oh, come on! Oh, God. Oh, boy. I am not going to hear the end of this. You jackass! Now you've done it. Idiot! I know I don't fit here, but I'm just going to settle right in. Uh, like yesterday, I started a lovable gang of Cockney pickpockets. All right, boys, the best targets are old rich people. Here's one now. Go get him. Oh, no. There's no police here to help me. I hope you don't find the money strapped to my thigh. He can't be dead. There's got to be something I can do. Maybe I'll bury him in the pet cemetery. No. Oh! 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 Okay, I'll bury him oh! in a regular cemetery. Pet. 
These Texans are socially backward. Why? Politically, they're all stubborn as a mule. What are you doing? Nope. Sorry, Kevin Bacon wasn't in Footloose. Wow. What? Of course he was. No, he wasn't. You lose. Look it up of course he was. IMDb. He was the star. Uh, nope, you, you're wrong. Look it up. I don't have to look it up. It's common well, knowledge. No, he was on the no, cover no, of no People magazine no, when the movie no, came. He, no, everyone knows Kevin no, Bacon was a star no, of Footloose. No, it was no, a huge movie. No, he was the no, lead. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's like arguing with a woman. It's fruitless. Come on. Come on in. Your right, family's you know, waiting in here. There are toys, and a puppy, and food that's not served from warming trays. I want to do this to a child one day. Come on, you gotta want it. Oh, you gotta do better than that. Okay, I guess you don't want a new family, toys, and a puppy. <laughs> we are gonna raise more hell than Hellraiser. Hey, honey, you want some salt for your steak? Yeah, sure. Ah, <laughs> gotcha. That's more salt than you wanted. Remember those sweet, warm New England summers? Remember sipping lemonade underneath a shady tree? Remember when you hit that pedestrian with your car at the crosswalk and then just drove away? Pepperidge Farm remembers. But Pepperidge Farm ain't just gonna keep it to Pepperidge Farm self free of charge. Maybe you go out and buy yourself some of these distinctive Milano cookies. Maybe this whole thing just disappears. We now return to Rodney King of Queens. Rodney, did you take out the trash? Oh, uh, I forgot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no, she didn't. <laughs> Besides, it's bound to go better than my deep sea training. Well, we got a long time in this decompression chamber. Uh, you guys mind if I turn on the radio? Peter, don't. No. Oh, nice going, oh, Jack. Oh, look at you, Jack. Oh, hell out of me for trying to brighten your day with music, hey, all right? You, you idiot. Use your brain. You, you, you're an idiot. Oh, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, 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 Stop, 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 stop. Oh, man, we're going to need some butter or something. Because I'm your son, and I'm tough. I made it halfway through failure to launch. I just never managed to get my life together. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> You're cute. Well, Done. <laughs> I'm more of a hilarious? sellout than you were when you did those Butterfinger commercials. Nobody better lay a finger on my Butterfinger. Do. Come on, Lois. Sometimes kids can be a handful. Look at Gregory Peck's kids. Are we there yet? It's crowded back here. Stop touching me. Your leg is rubbing up against mine. Hey, quiet down or I'm pulling over. Stop breathing on the window. You idiot. That's condensation. It's on the outside. That's it. I will come back there and so help me God, I will hit you with my ring hand. Oh man, this is gonna be great. Oh, are we watching a movie? The lab results are back. You've tested positive for nymphomania. Oh yep. no! What should I do? Take two of these and call us in the morning. Well, now that's not going to help her nymphomania. It's only going to exacerbate it. For the rest of my life, I'll be as lonely as Pat Robertson and Jerry Falwell after the rapture. Damn it, Jerry. Why are we the only ones still here? I don't know. We hated all the right things. Now there's nothing left to hate. I'm going to hate that rock. No, I'm going to hate that rock. Let's both hate that rock. I hate you. I hate you, too. Come on, bro. Ah! 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 This is the greatest show I've seen in years. Not like the last time I was at a comedy club. I hear this guy's hilarious. He played Kramer, you know. Oh, this is going to be fun. To swap my vocal cords with Patrick Stewart. Hey, Lois, I spent the afternoon making a list of famous Armenians. Eric Bogosian, Andre Agassi, Jerry the Shark Tarkanian. That is all. You'll be kept as healthy as a horse. So, how's that leg doing? Uh, great, great, never better. Good. Why don't you try putting some weight on it? Uh, sure. Yes, yes, oh, that's good. That feels good, very strong. Sorry, Thunder, I gotta put you down. Huh? How's your leg? You ready to race? Huh? <laughs> All right, don't freak out, Peter. Don't freak out like you did when your goldfish died. Here you go, Lieutenant Shiny Sides. Oh. It's okay. You don't have to eat it now. You're just sleeping. You'll eat it later. You'll eat it later, Lieutenant Shiny Sides. Oh. Ah. I'll testify against you just like I did against Michael Jackson. Stewie, did Mr. Jackson behave inappropriately toward you? Well, yes, but the worst part was he never called back. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, in all seriousness, yeah, he was actually pretty aggressive. 
face it, Brian, she's dumber than a Boston area book report. The novel I chose to address is Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens. Queer name, right? The book was actually not bad. I'm entitled to these things, Lewis, especially after I got shafted by that Asian Santa at the mall. What you want? What you want for Christmas? Um, I was thinking maybe one of those old-timey... Too late! Take too long! Sad Christmas! What you want? Fire truck! What color? Red! Next! Ah. Peter, this is more irresponsible than when you fed your mogwai after midnight. Peter, oh. didn't the little Chinese man tell you not to feed him after midnight? Oh, come on, Lois. He's so Always cute. And he's me. hungry. What could happen? <laughs> Hello, I'm Fran Drasha. Ah, kill it, kill it! It's more disgusting than when you gave me that Christmas gift. Oh, what is it? A little birdie? Uh, oh my God, it's dead, Brian! Oh, oh, Brian, this is disgusting! Oh my God, get it out of here! I'm, I'm sorry. I thought, I thought you'd like it. Brian, I love it. I'm gonna call you Sticky out. Head. Oh my God! I love you, Sticky Head. This is weirder than that rap video by MC Escher. Going up the stairs and going down the stairs and going up the stairs and going down the stairs and going up the sideways stairs. Look at all these Hummers. What kind of jerk would drive one of those? Dude, this car kicks ass, and I can watch Madagascar while I'm driving. What kind of music do you like, Gloria? Hippo hop. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Dude, those animals are so funny, they make me want to merge without looking! Yeah, Rumsfeld! Gotta yell, turn up. Patrick's waiting. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. That, that. Ah, this is even worse than when you ate that bubblegum out of the garbage. Brian, did you get into the garbage last night? Uh, no. Why? Don't lie to me, Brian. I'm not lying. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay, look, I'll get a job, okay? There's got to be something I can do. It's not like I'm Ringo. Well, lads, what do you think of the new album cover? Great, but it won't look <coughs> good when it's shrunk down for a CD. CD? What's a CD? A digital compact disc. Ringo. Are you from the future? You know, I use that yeah, PCR. and I outlive two of you. Which two? Yeah, come on, Ringo. One Tell time us. I okay, was with this but kid. you all have to agree to do and my song she, about she the octopus. Hey, before you tell me. us, I'm going to go and smoke but a thousand cigarettes. Once I found I'm going to move like, to New York City like, and walk in and out of the building. Well, I'm off. Oh, Peter, I'm so she worried. Said, Where are they stationing you? I can't tell you. That is on a need the dough business. I ain't give a shit. I tried to leave them to be together. Hey, you be safe. No, I walked in on her. I tried to leave him alone. Anymore, oh, my bad. Enjoy a disturbingly like, loud clip baby, of Jimmy no, Fallon on my... Cab TV. Did I get ready to lose all respect for Al Pacino when I force him to play a game meant for children? This. This is why Uber. I have milked all the goats. Peter, all those goats are males. Well, the buckets are full and the goats are happy. I just hope word doesn't get around. For a good time, Carl. I like good times. That's terrible. The toilet is so gross. I don't care. I'm coming with you. Well, you're not going to sit with me. Oh, come on. If I don't, I'll get stuck next to that guy with the heavy hands. Hi, doggy. Mm. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Serves you right. And a baby. <sighs> Can't believe I might die like this. I always thought I'd go the way all dogs dream about. Slowly and at great inconvenience to my owners. Great inconvenience. Come on, boy. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get you to the living room. Oh. Lois, wrap one of his walking to the car pills in roast beef and peanut butter. I'm going to hold his hips while he stands confused in front of the water dish. Go on, boy. It's right there. <laughs> this Come on, always boy. reminds right me of one of my it's really water. good you friends, like it. man. There you go. You're doing it yourself. I'll tell you something, if he were here right now, I'd kick his ass. Just like hundreds of dead journalists, I'm not afraid of Vladimir Putin. Hello? Is it me you're looking for? Oh. Yes! Hell yeah. You deserve that. I say, look, there's hotshot 20-year-old comedian Benjamin Hill. Oh. oh, that'll be funnier when he's older and slower. 
Settle down, Brian. I'm sure life will be just fine without the internet. Maybe we can even go see that Amish comedian. Sir, where are you from? Chicago. I have never been to Chicago. How about you, sir? Boston. I have never been to Boston. Anyone here from the backfields of Pennsylvania, Ohio, or upstate New York? No. Then I have been Jebediah, son of Abner. I got in my sets like that. Listen, you need to talk to Meg about her drinking. What? Why me? Because you're the one who told her to start going to these parties. <sighs> okay, fine. I guess it's just something I gotta deal with. Like the flush of a high-powered toilet. <laughs> Edgar, do you know anything about this? What? N no. Edgar? I was at Stanley Kaplan preparing for the ACT. Well, then I am sanguine. Huh? Aha! I hope so, but you never know. They're still pretty mad at me down at Dick's Sporting Goods. Um, what's the name of this place? Dick's. <laughs> and, and what's that say on your shirt? Dick's. <laughs> Can I have two balls and a helmet? Hey, you're the guy from the phone. <laughs> Stop the car, Chris. Did you get him yet? We got him. Terrible. Oh, so suddenly it's a crime to break the law? Mr. Quagmire, you're free to go, but the rest of you will have to come with me. I thought we had it bad being gay overhead bins. What makes us gay? We've got bags in our mouths. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you hadn't said that at full volume in front of our children. I can't tell if they have a really good marriage or a really bad one. I feel like it's weird, but strong, like Danny Trejo. <laughs> Thank you for noticing. Compared to him, we're about as useless as one of those automatic bathroom sinks. Up. 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 They really are like that, though. A lot of them don't work when I've been using these What the hell are you doing? This uh -oh. is a women's bathroom. Up. Yeah, it really be like that. Yeah, it's awesome. Vets get all the sweet deals. I mean, you never see a homeless vet. And people have been really nice. Everywhere I go, they open doors for me. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Hey, so when really fat people come, make sure we're opening both doors. We now return to America's Next Top Model. I, I just don't think you're being fair, Tyra. You, you don't know what it's like to grow up the way I grew up. You know what? How dare you? You don't know me. You have no idea where I come from, where I've been, how long I've been there, what I had to do to get from where I was to where I am now! Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah, I always wonder what was inside Ooh, That's got to hurt worse than getting a birthday telegram from Zinedine Zidane. Yes? Mm. Bon anniversaire. Really? Yeah. Don't worry, Lois. All he needs is an after-school activity to get his mind off the army. Just something nasty, to distract him. Nasty. You know, like all of America gets distracted whenever a cute white girl dies. We regret to report that not all the children on board the school bus survived. We have identified the body of one victim, nine-year-old Becky Gunderson. Oh. No, wait. That's uh, Becky Gutierrez. Oh. oh. That's not news. Ugh, this is going to be more painful to watch than when he ate half a fudgesicle in one bite. Oh, boy, a fudgesicle! <laughs> boy, that's even kinkier than the porn they make for senior citizens. Can I help you, Edward? Yeah, I'm here for the early bird special. Are those new slacks? What's that now? Are those new slacks? I got these on special at Caldor. Who drove you there? My nephew. Ah, oh, that was nice of him. I forgot why I came over. Are those new slacks? I never got to be wild. Except for that time I rode the mechanical bull at that bar. <laughs> oh my god, how embarrassing! Look how much fun I am! Is it of Oz was at granting wishes? And Dorothy, you wanted herpes. But little did you know, you've had herpes all along. I didn't ah! want herpes! Oh. Well. Well. Not too bad, bitch. You've got it. Besides, it sure beats the hell out of last Saturday when we partied with that bighorn guy from Legend. 
Hey, you guys want to go to IHOP, get some breakfast or something? Oh, God, I don't know, bighorn guy. It's like 3 a.m. Oh, that sucks, man. I'm wide awake. Hey, oh, Quagmire, you want to... <laughs> Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, oh. man. Are you okay? No! I didn't that's see him. Ah! Oh, that's not funny. Superstore USA has their own paper route. Yep. Yep. Oh my god. That new paper boy done gone and broke my sternum. Mm. Mm. Yep, nasty bastard. Mm. He's, he's, he's fondling that dog. Mm. That dog's been fondled with. Him. That's why it crawls like that. Please don't edit that out. Come on, it was only 600. My god, that's more than I spent to go see that prize fight in Vegas. I thought you said we was going to see Hairspray. Bitch, I thought I said just shut up and be looking fine. That's, yeah, that's boring. I want you to do something more interesting, like when I had that job feeding the homeless. That's gonna make you big and strong. Burping time. Oh, smells like someone needs to be changed. When was the last time you were changed? Seven days ago? That's one week. There are seven days in a week. I love you, filthy hobo. He's the jerk in all this. Like Dick Cheney when he was a Walmart greeter. Go f yourself. Oh. Go f yourself. Oh. Go f yourself. Oh. Yeah, she's really? all smoke and mirrors. Just like Harry Houdini. But I don't want to play bridge with the Petersons tonight. Harry, we agreed weeks ago and we're going. All right, fine. Let me get my coat. We now return to Laguna Beach. Like Girls that laugh the hardest. And I'm not going to finish the rest of that. Right? I know. Whatever, because duh. I know, right? Whatever, because I mean like totally full out. Full on. Right? Yeah, full out. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you can stop here. There's no way that microwave costs more than 300 bucks. Stop here. Don't, don't listen to that fat tourist. She doesn't know how much a microwave costs. Stop! <laughs> Like yeah. We should have gone to Plinko, like Cleveland. <laughs> oh. Jeez, Meg, you always gotta ruin my good time. Just like basic cable. We now return to Showgirls. Yeah. On TBS. Uh. In other pseudoscientific news, a local man claims to have spotted Bigfoot. We've got the exclusive interview. I was about to bone my girlfriend out at the lake, but suddenly she yelled, so I looked up and it was Bigfoot. So what happened next? Then I went back to bone her, but the mosquitoes were going crazy and she said there was no way. We now return you to Native American What's Happening. Hey, rerun. You see Dwayne? Not today. Oh, here he come. How, how, how? Oh, yes, I'm sure it'll go as well as Liza Minnelli's Playboy shoot. Oh, God! Please put your clothes back on! Mama! Oh. Mama! No! Do you love me now, Mama? Fuck no! Please hey. love me, Mama! Do your still work? Like that foreign guy at work who helped me understand sarcasm. <laughs> nice day we're having. Oh, yes! What? He said nice day, but he covered with rain! So? So he said this when your brain no, it's not really nice day! Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yes, he said the opposite. It's funny. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I get it. Uh, nice day. Oh, ho, ho. now you're funny, too. Oh. Well, I know the people will support you, Lois, because you connect with them. Like Disney connects with its audience. You to cow. No, you to cow. Wow, Disney gets us. Ugh, some days I think it was easier being Cubit's roommate. God, it's all night with this guy. Hey, if you're gonna leave all those lights on, I'm not gonna split the electric bill. Hey, that's real. Perhaps one day I could be more powerful than King Friday. I am the supreme ruler of the neighborhood of make-believe. All will kneel before my... Ugh, what kind of freaking king lives next to the train tracks? What is this, Mexico? Dude, what type of... Good lord. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's your boy Blasphemous HD. Prisms.